Islam. Peace and love to all. Welcome to more characters in history. School eyes wide open blog podcast. I am Sister Rod Mariah, your host, and I am here with Edifying Studio. I apologize. I know we have this right now. You are live. Are you there with us? Brother Miss Rain, are you there? She's doing this from a token. Sure enough. Uh, and I have Kujo Adwa'il. Are you there? Nobody's hearing me. Hmm. Hmm. Yeah. Can you hear me? It's Lob. Are you there? Yeah, this is Cujo. Cujo on deck. Now I hear you. Is this Cujo? Yes, it is. It's Lob. It's Lob, brother. It's Lob. Um, I'm just having a little technical difficulty. I had to use another um, laptop. Let me see if Ms. Raheem can hear me. Ms. Raheem, are you there? <laughs> He might be coming in. <clears throat> he may be coming in in a moment because his mic is open. All right. How are you today, Brother Cujo? Everything's peaceful. I can't. I can't say Everything things are bad at all. <laughs> all right. Well, listen. I um. I have to. I, I know that um. There's a few things we wanted to discuss tonight. Now, I, I tell you, um, Sister Anita, as we all know, has a family medical emergency, but she will be back with us as soon as possible and was trying to see if she could arrange for this evening and did some serious uh, research on the recent um, uh, closing of Rikers. I think we mentioned it last time because it had just occurred or whatever. Right. You remember that? Yeah. Well, did you know, because she did the research on it, and we're going to save that for another extensive uh, presentation with her work. However, she did the research, and she um, found out that the feds are suing the city of New York. Did you know that? No, I didn't know that. Right. Okay, all right. So this was last week. As a matter of fact, it was last Tuesday. Our last um, our last broadcast on National Principles is when that hit about the fact that Rikers Island, which is the holding tank, as they call it, for all the boroughs at New York, you know, when they, when they kidnap people and all that. So it allowed her to um, do the research on it, and she dug it up. And this is this is a great example of media. Now, because on top of that, there is, and maybe we need to send it to you if you haven't had it. Did you get the uh, uh, press release that the mayor of New York put out mm-hmm. that said we are no longer going to be uh, having civil issues, civil civil issues. Uh, looking at them as criminal issues. Did you know about that? No. No. All right. So now this is a great example of one of the media and 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 how they work, and also of the people who don't really dig in and, and see. It's so good to to be able to research and study and and because you know like just to come up and say, all right, the feds are closing down Rikers Island. You know, uh, uh-uh, there's more to it. They're suing the city of New York. Now, now the city of New York is looking at, uh, oh, well, each borough will will establish their own jail, (laughs) which is going to take time. But this is the time. This is the time when the people, boys, 
should be standing up and making sure that that it doesn't go down. But but here's the thing. If the mayor and again I'm gonna send you that clip so you can have it in your in your in your record. You know, show and tell proof, right? If he makes mm-hmm. a statement and says we're no longer going to be uh having civil issues as criminal you know there's more behind it, but now someone didn't know that they are being sued by the feds, right? They would just hear that speech and wouldn't even think nothing really of it, you know what I mean, and just go sure. on. Our people don't realize the time that it really is right now, but it is time for more to be active, of course, and also to take their place amongst the affairs of men because in addition to that, I know you probably saw, um, I have to thank Brother Hassan for sending me the clip, but he sent the clip on the debtor's prison. That's what they call it. But all of those issues in there, all of it, they're exposing. That's what they're exposing. They're exposing what we've been telling people for years, not that we're taking no credit. We're just saying we wasn't lying. We were telling the truth that all of these municipalities are corporations. And then you have other corporations such as, man, they broke this thing down, such as uh, uh, probation officers, right, that actually add stuff onto whatever sentencing supposedly or whatever, really in a sentence it's a fine because it's all about money to them. That's all that it is. It's human trafficking all day long, every day, all day, right? So showed where this uh, probation company, so let's say if you were on probation and, you know, they put a, 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 a wrist thing on you or an ankle thing on you, right, uh, uh, they show where they start creating policies, telling you it's law, that you got to do this and you got to do that and you got to do this. And all of that is bogus. It's stuff that they are making up. So they have been to, they have the numbers on there, how much is how much so far they had to pay out some of the probation corporation had closed down and all this stuff. Now, it brought to my mind, I remember several years back, there was a brother who was in a situation, and uh, his, he, he was fighting his way out of, the, out of this thing, and he said he went to the, to the magistrate and said, listen, I'm going to do this thing on my, this uh, bracelet on my, my ankle, and the magistrate looked at him and said, we didn't put that on you. Like, in other words, you got to go to whoever did that. Well, guess what? I didn't realize then, but I darn sure realize now exactly what was being said. So what is, we accept these conditions that are actually contractual agreements, be it verbal, implied, or what have you. And the real, the real reason why we accept it, let me tell you the truth, is because we just don't know. And that's why the prophet said study, but that's why we do it. And then it becomes common practice. Now it's being exposed that these people are corporations, municipalities. We told people that, that, that this is what this was about. So if we could collectively come together, we could stand in this, and this thing would be over with overnight. We keep saying that. But the prophet said it best. He said, look, this is a practice fight. Now, we understand that it's mental. We understand that it's lack of knowledge. But if you know that you have lack of knowledge and that's the problem, then people would get to studying and get to researching. However, uh, that doesn't always happen that way because you've got diverters and infiltrators in the midst, in the midst who claim to be of some knowledgeable condition, position, or what have you, and then they tell you who are coming in trying to find your way, you know, that this is the law. They don't even know the law. You know what I'm saying? They don't even know. So they're agents for, uh, they're agents for the agencies and the corporations, and some of them don't even know it because that's how, that is how ignorant they are, you know, and, and what they are definitely against is freedom of, uh, of thought, freedom of, 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 of being, just period, just being who you are. That they are definitely against. Um, and it, so so I, I just wanted to bring to the table, we'll, we'll give a more extensive report um, on, on these things 
Um, oh, oh, and one other thing. On that report, they also showed how the municipalities that you, that everybody keeps calling government, that, that that we have shown, and Anna E. has told you exactly how to go and look it up. You can just go on our website and look it up. To, to who they are, they don't even hide it. That they will come to you, let's say, um, it's called quality of life fines or something they call it. I don't know what they call it. And they'll say, well, you got a fine, you know, <laughs> because you're single on your house isn't straight or some craziness like that. And they'll say, you got a fine because the blinds in your window, this is what's on that report, by the way, don't match. And all this crazy stuff, right? And because, again, I say, because we think they're government, we're like, okay, I'm going to pay the fine. Or if you can't pay the fine, which they definitely target uh, those who don't have a lot of finance, that's who they go after so that their program can work out of threat, duress, and coercion. Because you don't have the finance and then they threaten you, oh, well, we're going to put you in jail. This is what they do. So that's why, it, it, you know, uh, um, uh, they, they they come to uh, more uh, neighborhoods for the most part because what they're doing is unlawful and they know that we're the least or have been the least to know anything about law, anything about civility, period. And so so it's like um, this is this is how they do it. So they'll say, okay, well, this is the law. And this is why we tell people, no, that's a policy. That's not a law. You know, it, it, there's a distinct difference. Now, some people say, well, I don't, I don't want to be bothered. I'm just going to pay it if they can afford it. But if you can't afford it, you are now in their system of bull crap. And that's how they get you caught up in it. But even those who have in the past been saying, well, I'm just going to pay it, there's something in the consciousness of their mind today that lets them know, you know, something's wrong with this. It cannot go on. This thing is up and it's over. Um. So uh, you may, many of you listening may not, may not know or have not heard about the fact that the city is being um, sued. So what we see is that it's a protocol for what's supposed to go down everywhere, but it is also a call to the natural people, particularly and especially Moors, to take their place amongst the affairs of men, period, and to be active. Because this is the opportunity window right here. And, and it's, I mean, it's amongst us right now. You know, it, this is really, really where we are. Now, that leads me into uh, well, a couple other things we want to speak about. I don't know if Ms. is on the line yet. Ms. Rangim, are you there? No, yes, I'm here. I'm here. Oh, all, right. all right. All right, Pete. Technical Lodge. difficulties and all of that. I'm here. <laughs> you know what I mean? It's about you, Kujo. Uh, I'm sorry. Yeah. <laughs> what you say? Well, it's really good. I said, pardon me, yeah. I wasn't I wasn't connected clearly through. But please tell me I'm well, right. with us tonight. It's really good. No, she's not with us tonight. She wanted to be, but she put it. Okay. She okay. wanted to be, and that's what I'm saying. That's what I'm saying. That 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 report, that extensive report on um the Fed suing the uh, uh, closing down records, but behind it is that they're also suing uh, the city of New York and the mayor mm-hmm. put it out the speech and said we will no longer be making civil issues crimes. Wow, because that's all they've done is make criminals out of civil crime out of civil issues. Nobody is to, you know, like injure. You have to have an injured party. That's the law of this land. That must be an injured party before any any sanctions can be made. So, therefore, without the injured party, there is no sanctions. Now, the only other thing uh, is a contract, a violation of a contract. Now, I want to say this, and then I know you have a lot to say about this something tonight, but... um, uh, Oh man, I just lost my train of thought there. Well, what it is is that all right. So, 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 the, if you don't have the injured party, then then you can't make any sanctions against people. But this is what they have been doing. But the law of the land now must stand. Now, many modern Europeans are absolutely enforcing the law of the land. Kudos to them, and I do mean that because that is the instructions that we were given by the press. 
is to enforce the Constitution so that you are not violated by other citizens, which is what is happening. So, you know, I'm going to be in this place, in this place at this time, and I understand the teachings. It's great. I do want to say this, um, Kujo, I know that um, you did a class in regards to uh, the bantering and ignorance of someone trying to make a a big deal out of uh, Moorish American versus more American than we have on our cards. And um, I I put out, I gave a little one-page thing, which is extremely a brief on it. And in Wednesday's class, tomorrow I was going to, at New York, I was going to um, go into that, but I also have to go into the Pink Moon thing because that's the spiritual thing we really got to get with. But I'm doing that tomorrow. But just to touch on it, I wanted to know um, where people can go to to get and what it's called, what you did in regards to that. Um, subject matter um, It's on um, YouTube mm-hmm. Canaan Land Moors mm-hmm. um, What the hell is it um, Some relative to USAR mm. yeah, Morisco Morisco World Liar attorney and USAR this RV Bay and get exposed. Oh, so then the USAR is behind that. Yeah, to yeah, a degree. That's, that's, what, now, that's what we came to find out. Yeah, that the U that they are USAR people now. All right, so 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 the new carrot, the new bell that rang, that keeps people from just being who they are. Uh, every time somebody rings a bell, they run to something new. Is the USAR, which it's a Nazi, is someone who's saying that they are the president of the United States of America, newly revised republic, which soon should be snatched up by the true president of the United States of America republic um, for fraud. But uh, or well, whether he is or he isn't, that's craziness because the USA was not established for us to be citizens of. The USA was established for the foreigners to be citizens of because it's the United States of America or of the American land, of which the national constitution for the American land is is for them to behave. So is that basically what this, is this a brother that's doing this? Because I would think it would be a modern European who would say that they're the president of the U, U, USA, uh, Republic. It, it, who, is he a modern European to your knowledge? Yeah. Oh shoot, what happened? Are you there? Made a lost him. Miz, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. I'm definitely okay. here. Kucho must have dropped uh, out. Um, but um yeah, I, I the, the person who's saying they're the president of the USA no, the public. Text me say he's hearing nothing, like he doesn't hear anything. She doesn't hear anything. Okay, hold on. Let me let me check and see if I dropped him out of the. Um... Oh, yeah. I see why. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Wait a minute. Hold on. Tell him to hang on. Oh man, I just thought he must have just dropped out. He dropped out. He dropped out. Are you able to mm. call him? In? Huh? Oh yeah, I'm back. All righty, all right. My question was, no, 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 no. it's a full moon, so things no, no. is busting. At- no, go ahead. My question was, just in brief, is this a modern European saying he's the president of the U.S.A. Republic, or is this a brother? Or oh, is a brother? Oh my gosh, you got to be kidding me! No, 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 no. Keep, keep in mind, keep in mind, there is a Republic of the United States. Dot org, which is some Europeans too. Oh, all right, all right, okay, all right. All right but the okay. U- the USAR is, is those are Asiatics. This is sad. Oh yeah, and they and and we were talking about it earlier in class too that they 
they admit that they're established in 2015, the Moorish nation state. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. They admit that they're established, the Moorish nation state, in 2015. Oh, okay. Yeah. And people buy that? Yeah. People that go back to the mindset to the ancient foremothers and forefathers and know the history of all things, they buy that? They go for that? Yes, two, two, yep, two, a, whole, a whole two years ago. Wow, this is so sad. So sad. So that's sad. that's that's some ancient that's some ancient foremothers and forefathers right there. <laughs> Not only that, if they knew the history and the illustrious history at that, if they knew the history of the forming of any and all of this, they would know better. No oh wow. Well, anyway, I'm sure your video, your your class on it, cleans up a lot of stuff. Yeah, yeah, about an hour, an hour thirty or something like that. All right, that's not that's not bad. Um, wow. Now that leads me. Yeah, that's some craziness. Now that leads me to um another another issue that we wanted to just put on the table today, and that is um let's see. The there is a another brother who is doing two things. One, I think I mentioned this before, and this is so important because we have to just defend what is right, give you the truth, you decide on what you want to do. Uh, but one situation was we mentioned it where I uh, someone had sent me a video clip. It was like maybe five minutes long. It wasn't even that. And this brother was like, "Boo yeah, do you have this on your card?" And it was a barcode with all the Elodio information, and in the back of it it says "Citizen of the U dot S dot, you know, national U dot S dot national." It was a joke because first of all, barcodes mean product, merchandise. Number one, uno, right off the bat. So you take the Elodio information and and, and put it on there. You, the barcode means you're agreed to be merchandise, and this guy swears he knows what he's doing. So I got a phone call today from someone distant who asked me about it. They're calling it the enhanced, y'all hear this now, the enhanced national ID card. Please remember that the profit to you, your card will change in your pocket, but this is the that means when you understand what you have, that's when it will change for you. But they have created an enhanced ID card. It's enhanced because it's got a barcode, which 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 says all day long that it is about merchandise. So you took all this lovely, lovely information, a load of that that we that whoever put together, we did, and whoever else, and then you put it under a barcode. This is the kind of activity. But here's what I say. Let them show their head so that the scimitar can come during these time and cut it off because this thing is moving forward. So let them show their scandalous, negative uh, 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 um, heads and their ignorance of things. But if they show their head and they're given a direction to go or information that they can choose for themselves to check out to show it to be true, and then they make their, they, and then they become forced to make their changes. That's a beautiful thing. But if they show their head in the arrogance and the ignorance and the need to to not, and the the inability to humble thyself is not present in them. Watch, there they you will see their heads rolling in a minute. That's it. Because the scimitar is coming to do that, so so we don't fret too much about those who are exposing this negative stuff and slandering and all that, because that means they're just exposed who they are. So it's easier for that that pendulum scimitar to come and swipe them off on its way back on the flow. Um, uh, but we do need to discuss it because certain things, because it's necessary for us to. You know, at least share the information that's right and exact. It is up to you to receive it or not. When it hits your ears, if it feels good to you, you know, in your your heart or your soul, you follow the dictates of your soul. And also to try to give, you know, for certain things that you can verify in regards to it, um, lessons or whatever it can be. 
um, on this on this show, we can discuss as much as we can for you to go and verify that, and then you follow the dictates of your soul, which is a necessity, especially at these times. So now another thing that this same brother who's telling people to get this enhanced national ID card that has a barcode on it saying that your merchandise has to do with selling of uh, one of the books that I wrote called More Civic Service. I wrote it back in 2000. And I don't even know. Man, I should have checked. It was an in. It was a preliminary. All through it, it tells you. I, I explained. I said, look. This isn't the full way. It is the way for beginners to begin to start pulling away from administrative stuff. That's what it's for, from administrative stuff. Well, there's we, we had that for five notes. And this same brother who's telling you to get the enhanced nationality card with the barcode making you merchandise or indicating that you yourself are admitting to be merchandise and everything that deals with you, you are saying is merchandise. Um, and it's under uh, calling you a U.S. national on the side. See, if you flip that card over, because that's always where the hidden stuff is with these, with these agents. You turn that card over on the other side. That's where the barcode is, I believe, right? Yeah. All right, look to the left. To the, to the left, up a little at the top, I believe. It says U.S. national. There's no such thing as a U.S. national. So you're being put into a jurisdiction that is another fiction. And here's the thing that I find interesting. It, and then, Ms., I, I want you to make comment on this, this, this situation. Here's the thing I find interesting. At this time, they are admitting to these people that you think of government, that you have this mindset stuck to so They're admitting that they're corporations. This is being admitted now. This is being admitted now after all our people have done, uh, many of our people, excuse me, have done birth certificate redemptions against this corporate crap, right, this the, 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 uh, uh, proof of human trafficking certificates and bonds and stuff that was not established by you or your mom or your dad or and your brother or your sister or whatever. Now that they've done that, now it comes up, oh, by the way, they're all corporations. Not that we didn't tell you, but they're all corporations, so now you've got to back out of that because they're going to hold you to that. So all of this is coming up now. This is this is the time. So, you know, uh, <laughs> it's like uh, 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 even with with with, with um, uh, um, these people who are, are doing a lot of things, I, I want to say this: even with this brother who's taking this five dollar book, five notes, and he's actually selling it for twenty seven notes. Now, this is what he says, and then as you can expound on it, he says, "Oh, I'm just doing business." I'm just doing business like like he's going to buy something to make a profit. That's not what we put the books out for like that. It was to be affordable for our people to have it. However, if he said, oh, I told him for $7 or $10 or whatever like that, 27 notes on a $5 book, and then here's the thing that bothers me. That's not so much, well, it is and it isn't. Here's what it is, and I want you to hear clearly what we mean by a the wrong mindset coming into this. So someone with that type of mindset, which is a commercial European get over this, that type of uh, mindset, right? Let's say tomorrow we opened up a, a, a center here, there, or even everywhere. Do you think that that type of more would be the type that we would want to come and sit at the table? So this is why if we do not go back, if we do not come out of this mental slavery and go back to the proper mindset and come out of the colonists, you know, we started thinking like the colonists until Prophet Noble Drew and Lee came and started dropping it. That's what Cool Joe's song is. It is on point. But it's that mindset. And what the Prophet said, I've come to take you out of your mental slavery. So this is why we say sometimes you get this information, but because we, that people are still in that, 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 that slave mentality, uh, 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 mindset, they try to bring a load of stuff 
and, and, and apply it to a mindset that doesn't belong there. This is the problem. So those people are dangerous people to this entire mission and movement and activity. But if they would stop and look and study they, and have their, their exorcism and then their, their own baptism, then they would be cool. But they refuse to do that because they cannot humble themselves enough to correct themselves. And by the way, that's what this whole pink room is about, by the way, the Aries, Aries Libra thing. Um, they can't humble themselves enough to correct themselves, you know, due to their arrogance and already knowing they have a lack of knowledge. And then the guide that they use is the guide that was mentally indoctrinated in them, and they won't have an exorcism of that and have the baptism of the real deal. And so then, you know, you're like, well, how do we do that? Well, the information is all around you. When you see the information and the people share it with you, and then you go and you check it and you say, dang, this is right, this is true. Why did the prophet say enforce the Constitution? So that you're not molested by other, other um, citizens. And, and, and I know this is probably in your your um, presentation, um, Kujo, and I'm certainly going to expound on it a little bit more tomorrow. The Constitution and bylaw of this prophet gave is because you're in this association, you're a member, and any association you go to has a Constitution, which is the constituency's rights rules, and has bylaws. But it's the bylaw. He already said the law of the land is what you enforce, the national constitution, the American national constitution that was established for the United States of America. But that doesn't mean that you ignore the bylaws because they're there to make you a better person. You know, it, it, it just really, uh, in terms of the misunderstanding people have about what the prophet brought and why and all that, and, you know, like you can't be a more unless you're in a temple and all that stuff like that. So then, you, you know, it gets to say, well, all right, then if that's the case, you know, where's the school? Because if you had a school, maybe you would have learned this. Maybe you would have reached out and studied. Maybe the Sunday school teacher, which is where the guidance of the nation comes out of, you know, might have might have given it to you or, 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 or additional classes or whatever. I don't know. But it's clear that it was a necessity. And, 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 I, and I want to say this because... And this is my, what i got to say, I want to go on on, on uh, a little bit further with this uh, at another time. When the prophet said, I'm sorry, did you say something? Oh, all right. When the, when the prophet said to the sheep, grand sheep, you are in position to make law and enforce, let me tell you what that meant. But see, if there was study, you would know. In our national identification card, self-test, question number, mm, did I lose the page? Oh, here we go. Question, page nine, actually. Question number 76, 77, and then we have 78. It says, see, you're in a position to make law and enforce law, meaning that you are in a Praetor position in reference to just, J U S, that's the law, praetorium, which is in reference to civil law. It, it means, if you look up what it means, the discretion of the praetor as distinct from the legion or standing laws. The kind of law which the praetor is introduced for the purpose of aiding, so trying or correcting the civil law for the public benefit. Clearly, that is not what is being done, but that is what that meant. So you can't have a grand sheik or sheik correcting Jack in terms of civil law when they don't even know what law is. When they tell you that the law is what the DMV agency has written on <laughs> then you know. Now, <laughs> Just precarium is for all those who are in positions otherwise as what we call public trustees, you know, or public officials and stuff like that. That's civil law. A right to the thing that is held for another, for which there is no 
remedy by legal action. So they can't offer you no legal action, but only by entreaty or request, and it's already done. That's what the law of the land is for. So they can't just check without your, the people, all right, or what agreeing to it or, in, in this case, the competition, which is already the agreement. That's all. So this is what he meant when he says you're in position, cheeks, to make an enforce law, civil law. But you're not doing that because you don't know law. But he, he's pointed you towards it to the point where you don't know the difference between a bylaw, which every association has or all have, and the law. So I just wanted to add that. I don't know if you want to add something to that, um, Cool Joe, and then we can move on. Um, no, I'm, I'm straight. I'm straight. All right. I'm pretty much. All right, Carmel. Well, well yeah. shit, I right. got something I want to say. Yes, I sir. I definitely have something <laughs> I want to say specifically All right. about, um, well, first and foremost, let me say this. I respect and I appreciate all industrious moors, if you are, in fact, that, an industrious moor. But when I look at this thing, I'm like, okay, moors have product. And, 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 you know, from ancient times to now, um, moors also had connections that other people, you know, may have wanted to get connected with. But um, what I'm speaking about specifically, and I want to call attention to, and I don't, you know, you, y'all already know me, man. Like, I don't be trying to argue with, quote, unquote, Negroes or more as a Negro-minded status because, you know, these, these people are in a zone. You know what I'm saying? And um, you, you you can't tell them that their mentality is not that of a quote unquote Negro or a quote unquote nigger or a quote unquote undercutter or a savage. You you know, you, you say that to them, you know, you everything but following noble dry leaks. So basically people have made lanes or are trying to make lanes to do dirty things and compare their dirt to Amazon as if because Amazon is doing it, it's okay for me to do it. Nobody said anything about Amazon, so I'm going to be dirty because, you know, the pilgrims are playing dirty. Why can't I play dirty? So I'm telling you all, and I'm saying this specifically for the record, I don't usually um, name names, but what I'm saying is don't get beat we are following YouTubers, okay? These Negroes who are, in fact, by nationality, they are Moors, but these Moors who are in their Negro mind state, and when I say that, I mean, to take, like, you can't tell me this is not a Negro or niggardly mentality. You can't tell me this is not a bottom feeder mentality when... I could get a book for five notes, but I'm trying to turn it around and sell it to Cool Joe for 27 or 30 or whatever. You know, that's a scrape. Like, if, like let's just say, it, and, I, and and I don't even sell these, but like, if I brought the um, if I brought the Wisdom of the Womb albums for 10 notes or 20 notes. Like, it's going to be disrespectful for me to try to turn around and sell those for 40 um, because it's a disrespect to the intention that it was put out for. So what I'm saying is on YouTube, it's this dude who's calling himself Judah's son. I tried to give him a pass before. What I'm saying is that this is who, this is the persona he's going by on YouTube. You can check him out. Um, I would suggest you don't buy anything from him because he's selling a more civic service book on his YouTube, I mean, excuse me, on his Facebook page, which is called The Moor 
Moore's Marketplace and more. These niggas are, excuse me, when I say that, I do mean that etymologically, meaning those who script up fiat by little and little, okay? All right, so this is what's happening. He's getting books for five notes from RV Bay and selling them on Facebook for 27 notes. And I'm telling you all, I don't care who knows him or who's cool with him, don't get beat buying a 27-note book from Facebook that RV Bay is selling for five notes. They're not plugging RV Bay. They're acting as if they're the only seller. And the thing is, which makes it sick, which makes it sick, I don't care what affiliations they had previously. You know, and in and, and part of me, I know we all go through rough times. I'm never the one to, like, try to bite into somebody's pocket like that. And I know we're going through rough times, but I'm not going to sit here and watch you scrape without giving the caveat emptor, the buyer be fair. You understand what I'm saying to you? Of buying a 27-note book that is available on RV Bay Publications for five notes. Don't do that to yourself. You could get five of them. You understand what I'm saying to you? Hey, but it's not that it's dudes. available. Hold on. We no, hold up. It. No, hold up. Hold on, Probably. hold on. We got a concise message. Let me get this off real quick, please. So, the book is on RV Bay Publications for five notes. You know, maybe seven with shipping, handling, et cetera. Okay. What I'm saying is don't let these people create a profile on YouTube act as if they're selling or have connections to RV Bay because, mind you, and this is not to give them a plug, I'm specifically giving a caveat, okay? Caveat emptor. If you don't know what that means, that means the buyer beware, okay? So beware of this dude on YouTube calling himself Judah's son, trying to sell the same um, identification cards that is provided on RV Bay Publications, selling, and I don't know how, but selling the books that RV Bay Publications sells for five notes, this dude is selling them for 27. And it's unfortunate. I understand some of our people fall upon hard times. This dude just got fired from Home Depot, and he's hitting the YouTube scene as, that, as if he has an economic plan and that anybody who doesn't support him is in the Negro mentality when it comes to business. No, nigga, like, no, homie, excuse me, Negro-minded, niggardly acting more Judah's son profile. No, homie, feel me? Like, no, nobody's a Negro because they, they, they calling you out on your BS, fam. Don't be mad. And then the videos he's putting up where he's promoting selling products that he's getting from RV Bay Publications but not acknowledging RV Bay Publications in these videos, he got the comments disabled. So, meaning he knows what he's doing. It's, he knows he's a fraud because the videos he's putting up, acting as if he's selling these products, he's disabling the comments. Meaning you know it's a backlash coming from the malicious stuff you're doing. Sam, so you, you, you don't play with us. Like, stop playing with us. You know, I don't know if people just think YouTube is a place or the land of dummies. But no, fam, we see we see what's really good. So what I'm saying is if it's not coming from, um, you know, if they're not plugging RV Bay publications in their message as far as the literature they're selling, like, be very careful. These dudes are not creative. These dudes don't have intellectual property or intellectual claims in what they're selling. Their mentality is, oh, this is the same shit when you were selling weed, whereas if I get an ounce or a half ounce for 60 of some Reggie, I can sell it to you for 120 and it's all good. This is his mentality. Judah's son on YouTube, a lame and a fraud. I'm saying it. I don't care who's cool with him. This is the fact. So this dude is a fraud because he's selling on Facebook 
five notebooks for 27 notes. I wouldn't have nothing to say even if he was selling it for 10, but he's scraping people. And if Morris in this day and age don't know about RV Bay Publications already, I'm sorry for them too. You know what I mean? But don't let nobody beat you like a, a three-note, five-note, ten-note book on RV Bay Publications. You should be buying for damn near 30 notes. Like, get your library up on from RV Bay Publications direct before you get yourself beat by buying from this dude who has a profile on YouTube called Judas Son and Facebook nipping people because he just got fired from Home Depot, and that's not a joke. Real talk, this is what he said. And I understand. I'm not trying to, you know, chip nobody. I understand and I respect the bootleggers. Homie, I brought bootleg DVDs my whole life. But what I'm saying is the bootlegger didn't try to scrape me. He wasn't selling me, you know, a a, a 10-note DVD for 30 notes. The bootlegger of the DVDs wasn't selling me a 5-note DVD for 20 notes. All right? So what I'm saying is don't get beat in the things that you're obtaining, you know, and it's sad that there's so many people who don't really, really know about Moors or know who the sincere du jour Moors are and the source and that these lanes need to create these profiles and mislead people, fam. Like, it's no way you should be paying 27 notes for the more civic service test. Like, it's no way. And if y'all think that's okay, and the thing is, okay, let's say he's he's not bootlegging them. He's not just copying them and all of this. He's robbing you to buy the book for five notes, then turn around and sell it for 27. Okay, we know Amazon do that. That don't make Amazon right. So what I'm saying is that Moors are taking the lower self-energy of the pilgrims and using that as their gauge to do dirt, meaning me like, oh, well, if the European is going to sell its five notebook for 25, I could do it for 27 because the European did it for 25. No, you just as dirty, fam. Stop playing with us. We see you dirty too. You know what I'm saying? Like, don't, don't. Don't play games. That's all I'm saying, man. Like, don't play games. Be creative. You got ideas? Put them to the pen. Put them to the paper. Manifest those and let us know. But I'm just saying, this dude on Facebook who just got fired from Home Depot, acting like he got nationality cards and RV Day publication books for sale, and in these videos he's posting, Enabling the comments, okay, shows you that this dude knows what he's doing. He's knuckle dragging, penny pinching, bottom feeders who are misleading those who are just YouTube fans. Like, meaning we don't see him in the flesh. He doesn't attend any of the Morris functions. I've never seen him at a, 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 a MHHS, uh, excuse me, MHHS class. I've never seen him at a class in Philly. He never been around anything that Moore's do or that RV Bay Publications has been a part of. But yeah, he's scraping these nine knowers for twenty seven notes for a five note book. All I'm saying is and 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 you know, this it's not about the fiat, it's about the principle. So I'm just saying if you're gonna spend twenty seven notes with this dude for more civic service test book. Like, please go to RB Bay Publications and get yourself an extra four more books, 25 notes. I'm sorry if these dudes have to pay their rent. I get it. But you're going to have to come a little bit more cleaner and sincere. So to take the position like, oh, well, you know, when somebody buys something from somebody at the corner store, they sell it for more than they bought it for Okay, you got that. That's that's true. You know, like if I spend five notes on a book, on some books, I'm trying to wholesale them. Yeah, I'm going to try to double up and spend or sell them for ten if I spend five. 
but to try to sell them for 27 that's an exclusive rate. That's an exclusive rate. There's no justification for that. So all I'm saying is go to RV Bay Publications, man. Stick there. Right. Nobody's trying to scrape you. Nobody's trying to rape you for any fiat. Nobody's trying to, you know, do anything malicious. It's the information. That's can, all can I'm you saying. Comment, can you comment on... Um... Also, this is the same, same, I believe this is the same brother who has the little video up about the nationality card with the barcode. Did you, is that the same person? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, this is what All I'm right. saying. These bootlegging hijackers, you know what I'm saying? No creative abilities. Just thieves, basically. Intellectual thieves. That's That's, that's really all that's going on. It's still an intellectual property. And I'm saying commenting on the fact that, that well, I guess I already did it, that it says U.S. National and that um, it has a barcode which uh, totally makes it merchandise, makes the makes barcode for people. Yeah, it's putting the identification in the corporate status. You know yes. what I'm saying? It's, yes. it's, 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 it's on the business level at that point. Meaning that if I go to the store, I could get tomato juice with a barcode on it. I could get ramen noodles with a barcode on it. I could get a magazine with a barcode on it. But all of that is acknowledging the fact that this is about business. There's a transaction. I could get a book with a barcode on it. So what I'm saying is that's a perfect example of them taking something that's a load of you because these people have no intellectual or creative skills and abilities like and I'm saying that because the frequency and brainwave that we've been on, that I've been on, is reflected on that Elodio card. And that's a fact. So what I'm saying is to see somebody act as if you know what I mean? They they, they put the brain power into this and they want to monopolize it under a barcode, I don't respect that. Because when you look at the face, on the face of it, that's our intellect that went into that. And there's a reason why it wasn't a barcode on it. So my thing is, I don't respect it. I just don't. And I don't have to. And I don't respect them. Um, you know, that's the image they created on, on, on YouTube. But again, like like this dude said, you got to be very careful because these people just lost their job from Home Depot. And at this particular point, scraping you is their source of income. You need to watch yourself more and get more bang for your buck, if you will, in that aspect on RV Bay because I'd be goddamned if I'm going to spend 27 notes on a book that somebody got from RV Bay Publications when I could get that same book for five notes plus four more, like, it doesn't make sense. So all I'm saying is guard your grill, guard your, the, yourself. If more see these people on Facebook, man, don't let them, like, don't let them mislead people. Don't let them get a pass just because, oh, they was a Hebrew, quote, unquote, and now they're trying to be a Moor. When they was Moors all along, I respect all of our brethren. But what I'm saying is that um, don't 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 let them get that off, man. That's ridiculous. That's unfair. That is unjust. That is unjust. That's like being locked down, and you're being charged 200 notes for a 10 note pack of cigarettes. It's a scrape. It's not even just. You feel what I'm saying? So. But if it's your choice to obtain those things for that price, that's you. You know what I mean? That's you. All I'm saying is don't get scraped or raped if you don't have to. That's all. That's that's my bottom line point. And with that, I give the floor. It's fine. Um, all right. Any, any, any other comment on that? Nakuja, are you there? Yeah, I'm here. Uh, you want to add anything to that, or 
um, if if I'm gonna add anything, it's just to um, recognize that when when you have people doing certain activity that seems um, iffy, um, recognize that those people are acting out of desperation. And if somebody's mm-hmm. saying that they're the head of they're the head of something or they can provide you something and they're desperate, clearly they should be providing what they want to provide for you for themselves before they try to apply it or give that to somebody else. Yeah. So, so if, yeah. if they're in desperation yeah. if they're in desperation so severe that they're gonna charge you twenty seven notes for something that's five notes, that alone should make you not want to deal with them. Just the fact that they're that desperate. Good point. Right. You know? It's like it's mm-hmm. like what we were saying about with, with the other jokers that you know um, they're going to be dissing people. You know, saying people are violating the prophet and stuff like that. And when you check some of these people's life, they're some of the most lacking of morals people on earth. But they got nerve to diss somebody and, and the activity that they've been doing for the past 20, 30 years or whatever. You know what I mean? Like we were saying earlier, these 2015 people, where were they five years ago? Like, what were they really doing with their life five years ago? Were they an ex crackhead? Were they prostitute? <laughs> were they in some type of, you know what I mean? Like, what, like, what were they involved in five years ago? That they're just coming up now to be the new Moorish or whatever. You know what I mean? Where was where was the, those barcode nationality cards five years ago? How come they just had the brilliant idea of doing that right now? Because they're yeah. desperate. And desperate times call for desperate measures. Wow. That's interesting. Because that's really what this whole <laughs> this this movement's about today. Uh I'm gonna get into that in a time, but that's really what it's about. It's a choice that people have to make now. But um I never really but I, I can see what you're saying. It's a desperation. It's definitely a desperation. Yeah. And then couple that with not studying. Like, in other words, if you're going to start something, you know, and that's what I had put in, 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 in my little um, press release there, if it's in the principles that the prophet put under the divide, most divine national movement, yeah. But if it's like you said, like, oh, okay, here we come. You know, two years ago, or what is it, 2015, so, yeah, two years ago, you know, boom, here we are. And no studies whatsoever, and only those who who know and have been studying see that, and they don't see it. So you're right, it has to be just a simple, it's a desperation and, it's, and, it, and taking advantage of those who are, who are coming in and want to claim their nationality and want to get, you know, or started with it or, or, or whatever. You know, they're taking advantage of it as if it's an opportunity that just came up for them to do, for these people who are taking advantage of those coming in. You know, but it's it's interesting. It is interesting. It is a sign of desperation. But as I said earlier, you know, let them rear their head. I mean, I'm not saying let them do what they do, but, you know, these are the times, man. These are... So the best we can do is just give the people the caveat in, tor- in regards to it, to what's being said here, and also, you know, uh, yes, I could see that it would be desperation. So that means no time, no effort, no blood, sweat, no tears, no nothing put into anything, but yet wanting to get something out. It doesn't work like that. It just does not. <laughs> it just does not. So... That's thievery, fraud, actually. Right. 
so with that being said, um, I also wanted to I, I forgot to say one other thing that when I um when I mentioned about the um just praetorium and just praetorium about civil law, uh number seventy eight is just proceeds and it means a present or vested right, a right that is already completely acquired and from that is where you get what they call res judicata. That means that, you know, before anything was a judge. We're not even talking about a judge because divine law and vested right have a, it's not about, you know, going in any courtroom or, or any venue for it to be what it is. You know, that's what birth rights are. Um, but then when people challenge those, then, you know, it, it's, against, um, it, it's against that which already is, which is called res judicata, um, because that goes against, you know, the law. And the law is, is, is divine as well, and so it's a thing that's already done, judicially acted upon, and that would be like, for instance, if, if people uh, were to uh, make a suit or a matter against someone violating them, then it would be like, you use what's, what you know is already there, it's like, look, this has already been taken care of. This is part of why when we started digging up case laws from, let's say, before 1935, 35 and back, or before that time and back, not that there aren't any after that or whatever, but particularly and especially um, those, you know, um, it really got, you know, uh, well, it really didn't want want that to occur because they're not dealing with law. But when you dig them up, it's already done. It's done against the law that exists already. So now what you have is these corporations who are not law, who are not government, who are corporations, who are creating policies and procedures, and then trying to put you under their jurisdiction, you know, by implication, really, by offer that you can refuse, really. I mean, we didn't know that then. We know that now. And that's why you use uh, nunc pro tonc, meaning now for then. And, uh, you know, they, they, they come up with these things that they don't want you to know about they don't want you to have any knowledge. That's what the, their whole schooling program is about, which keeps taking me right back to the schools that we are all, that the props that we're all supposed to have, um, and that is why. So, you know, they don't want you to know about that, but when, when those come up, it's like it it can't be, um, it can't be, it can't be turned around or changed. None of that can go when it comes to law. None of that can happen lawfully. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Because it's 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 stared at and decided against that which is law, which is why sometimes they call it stare decisis. Stared at and decided. But already done. You know, so so it's 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 you know, when the prophet said get this into children at all costs and that was a hundred years ago. <laughs> We really do see why, because you have to know that generations have gone through without knowing what's going on, without protecting their liberties, their their, their birthright. And that does not mean that just because that has occurred that it has to continue to occur or that that's the way that it has to be. But one would think that way when they're thinking, when they're, when they're not thinking a little, they're not thinking about nationality, they're not dealing with true history, heritage, law, not going back to the mindsets of their ancient foremothers and fathers who are the mothers and civilization principles. Um, <clears throat> then, of course, they would, think, <clears throat> they would think that way. So the programming and the intent, is what they put forth, and now, even in them trying to reap any continued rewards from that, it's at a stand. It's at a stop. This is this is it. This is this is a very good time, believe it or not. Um, well, it's the great and dreadful day, as they say. Great for some, dreadful for others. Because how can you have a great and a dreadful day? So this is it means what, where are you 
Where are you with this? That that's really what it comes down to. A hundred years, and I'm only saying a hundred years from the time that Prophet Nuhujur Ali came on the scene. So just just from that time alone, all right, it has been long enough. Um, would it be long enough for us to have turned this thing around? But we do know that it was infiltrated. We do know that there were sellouts. We do, and the Prophet knew that too. That's why he gave the warning. So if you truly, truly were running with the program um, and the information that the prophet shared, you would already know these things. You would already see them as they occur. Like you'll see now when the prophet said that the Europeans are going to tell the truth. You see all this stuff. They're telling the truth. They're telling the truth. They're telling. They got books talking about how they're the first slaves in America. All this stuff is out. Now, I'm saying to myself, wow. It has to be mind blowing. It has to be mind blowing to those who have ran their life believing something that is a total lie as it pertains to them. It's a total untruth. It's a shaky foundation. It is not and what is the foundation? Love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. For so shall it fall. So, you know, you know, this is this is where we are right now. And when we look at um, the other fact that really uh, I get to understand more and more when the prophet said, you must claim your nationality and your religion. We get it. We get it because the Christian, you know, Talking about the Christian religion, people get all upset. We got Moors that think they're Christians, you know. No, you reach up to forty six, and and it's telling you where the Christian religion was established. It says the beginning of Christianity, and it's, it's explained. And if you don't understand it, then you have to study to get it and study all kinds of things, and 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 you know, just go to Constantine, the father of Christianity, and you'll see it's all right there. So it was established for their earthly salvation, not yours. So, you know, I was speaking with someone and I said, you know, everything that's going on right now, the corporations, all of them, they're all based in the Christian religion. So you're more, and you're talking about I'm Christian, or conscious more or unconscious. Don't go to them talking about you're a Christian because they already know the rules and regulations and the policies and the procedures and the intent of that particular religion or those Christian powers, as they call it. So it's so important that we really get this in its fullness, particularly and especially now. Um, you know, just talking about that is class on really breaking it down simple. But if you really look at all the keys and you really look at the work, and if you say you're following the process program, you it would be so clear as to what is truly what it truly meant and what is truly going on now. This will help with what I think has to be a extremely unstable mindset of many of us right now in finding out these uh these truths. And and I guess I guess you'd use the right word, Kuja, when you said the desperation and the feeling of the de- you know, the desperate feeling. Um, because it's like your whole foundation is not what you you know, what you thought it was. You know, and and you can't deny it. Like, all right, I'll give you an example, and I, and I just want to say this. I had some friends, right, who um, went out and they did the, um, you know how you got, I know you all have friends that during the voting time they went out and told you to go vote, and if you don't vote, you're not nothing, you know, you need to vote. And then when the current president of the U dot S dot A got into place, they were all like, oh, my gosh, how did that happen type thing? And so then I explained to them how that, you know, how they're really elected with the Electoral College. It really has nothing to do with going to the polls, that the, a poll means opinion. But that's the opinion poll. I said, now, y'all went out there and y'all, you know, went and made, tried to make people feel bad and all that kind of stuff, and you better vote and all that kind of stuff, and now you just found out that, 
that wasn't really where it was. That was effortless. That was uh, 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 your efforts were wasted. My question is, will you be out there next year when it's time for vote? Nine out of ten, some people will. And the reason they will is because they can't accept the mental instability that comes about when this light of truth hits them. And the only reason that it can't be accepted is because they're not, they, you know, all of us, or whoever it applies to, are not standing on a solid rock, a solid foundation. It's a foundation, once again, it's love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. We do too much complaining about what's going on. We're always bringing up the problem instead of the solution, which is already given to us, by the way. And, and, and we, we complain, 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 and realize that what we complain about is not love, not truth, not peace, not freedom, and it's not going to bring justice in that respect because it's not built on those, those solid um, principles. So 100 years ago, in case we forgot what they were, Prophet Noah was early brought them back and, and, and brought them to our attention again of what it is, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice for who? For all the nation, you know, all, everyone. So now you look at what's going on in all four corners. It's simple. These people in your name, in the name of America, go over to many, many, many places and now you, you, you get these reports about, oh, well, so-and-so bombed Syria, and, you know, Syria bombed their own people. They, they were having a civil war, and they bombed their own people. And so here comes the U.S. and they're going to, uh, no, they, they didn't bomb their own people. They used chemical warfare on their own people. Here comes the U.S. U.S. A, and they bombed them. Now here comes the bear, which is Russia. And then Russia's like, oh, hell no, you're not going to do that. Well, here's what the problem is. First and foremost, the U.S.A. Has, goes over to these places and, and introduces democracy, which has nothing to do with civility at all or civilization or the principles of civilization. They go over to these places and someone else's home and they promise stuff, and they bring the chaos, and they bring the demon craft democracy, right? And then they sit back, and then they watch these places go through their own civil unrest behind the whispering of Sacrosh, or some people say the devil, the lower self, ideas called democracy. So they whisper that stuff to the people with promises that cannot be made, and they cause the chaos. And that has been done everywhere they go. And it is time for it to be over, and this is the time that we're at, where we are. These truths are, you know, uh, to simplify it because, that's it. You have some people that will get all involved, this report, that report, this report. They're going back and forth, ping-ponging. And, yeah, there's, there's civil war everywhere, quite frankly. doesn't necessarily mean it's with guns and knives and stuff, but it will be. It, there is much yet. So we have to wake up and take our place. We really do. Because it's the same thing as we said with the, with the, with the travel ban um, thing. You know, nationals don't take that. But here we are, saying we're nationals, and like you said, the most dirtiest people are unmoral or whatever like that, but won't do a thing that deals with national principles. We don't even get, because we're still in that mindset, this is a caveat, and to also beware, we're still in that mindset. We don't know that if we were to do business with each other standing right here, we just did international trade. We think we have to do it with somebody that we call foreign across, you know, that's not on this particular continent. That's not true, you know. So, uh, you know, it, it, it's it's a it, it's a lot going on, but I, I trust that that will simplify things because it's not as complicated as it seems. It's it, 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 it's it's really so simple that it that it appears complex and so complex that it's actually simple. But that's really what's going on, and those days are over. They're just done, and you must take your place amongst the affairs of man 
on, on this experience of life on this earth plane that you have right now. You have to for your posterity, if not for yourself, which is really for yourself. So um, uh, hold on a minute. Let me see. Oh, there it is. So, so these are these are some of the things that must go on. Now, I I really want to get into the the pink room thing, but I'm not going to do it tonight. It'll be tomorrow's class at seven thirty, um, because that really is going to take us to an, another another uh, I trust another level. Um, but that that moon full in Libra now as we speak, and there's a lot of undercurrent that you're going to be feeling. You're going to be thinking about what do I need to change. You're going to be thinking about, and it's interesting, Guja, that you use the word desperation because you're going to be feeling desperate and you're going to be forced to reflect. That's what's really happening. Uh, and those of you who know rewards, um, that the rewards that you've been looking for for the work that you've done, you're going to be getting that as well um, for those for those who are on the on the um on the uh, side of uh, love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. That's going to happen also because it's a decision time making, believe it or not. It really is for for all people. Now, if there's, um, if there's nothing else we want to add to this, I can open up the lines. Um, is there any other comments that, that either you or Kuja want to make, or Kuja or Ms. Rain want to make before we do that? Um, I just want to say big acknowledgement to MHHS Eyes Wide Open, Harvey Bay Publications, Kenan Land Morris. And for those who haven't subscribed or don't know, please do subscribe to Mentis Views 29 on YouTube. Um, we just put out um, another video where we ran down on the so-called African American Museum for the Moors, from a Moorish perspective. Um, in so-called DC, so Mantis Views Twenty Nine. Check that out. Ross Bay Mantis Views Twenty Nine. Um, and um, of course, as y'all already know, King and Land Morris RV Bay Publications, Morris um, Morris News, and big acknowledgement to Anna Eid. I can't wait for our host to be back on the line with us. That's all I really want to say. I want to hear from the people though. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Absolutely. Absolutely. Um yes, I do want to make a comment to people too. I, I saw this last video that you just did, um, that you just posted I think yesterday or the day before. And it is absolutely um a great video. I think you all will enjoy it. Now Ms. usually does short at a short video on Alex and this one is uh, a, a little longer, but trust me. It is really well well done uh, in terms of the information that it covers, and uh, yeah, check it out. Check it out. <laughs> yeah. Absolutely. Also, I want to say I'm I'm not the type to beg for likes or to ask for likes. I, I usually don't care, but I'm telling y'all, it might be easy to watch, but it was a lot of work and brain. Uh, energy that went into that. So please, if you like it, be sure to hit the like button because I'm telling you, man, to go through a lot, all that work. I want to know y'all appreciate it as well. So I appreciate <laughs> everybody there. Thumbs up. Damn, I'm telling you, it's it's not. You know, it didn't. I didn't put that together in one day. So all I'm saying is, if you do watch it and you get anything from it. Please don't forget to hit the like button because that's going to determine how fast part two is going to come out. I'm just letting you know. You know what I mean? So I trust, I know we could all get something from that. There's a lot of more on the line that you already know. But I'm telling you, you know what I mean? Make sure you let me know, put your comments, you know, share your likes, dislikes, things you want to hear about, whatever, because. You know, I just would like to know. You feel me? Is it worth doing a part two? I think it is. I know it is. Y'all, don't, I mean, for those who haven't been, don't know, they don't know. I know it's worth it, but I need to know if y'all really feel in part one. So if you are and you watch that, 
and you like it, be sure to hit that like button just off the strength to know that I'm not wasting time with doing part two. I appreciate everybody who did thumbs that thing up um, and everybody who was on it. Cool, Joe. Acknowledge me to you. My, thank you for making it happen. Does remind you. Still got yeah. another um, uh, class slash mission, something like that. But like I said, it's a lot of work. So if y'all see I'm not posting anything for a while, just know that a classic is being worked on. That's all that is. And I'm not saying that to be <laughs> arrogant or anything. Like if it's like a month and you're like, damn, man, it's just views the and post nothing. No, you know, you're 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 about to get a classic, the next thing that's posted. And um not for nothing, moving forward, you know, um we move I'm I'm trying to move more into doing movies too. You understand? So like let me know right. what y'all feel about the thing. You feel me? Like I need to know. Not not because I care about, you know, whether it's like, dislike, because the truth is the truth. You know, there's brothers and sisters who are saying, like, that thing cut like a sword because there's truth in there. You know what I mean? And not that some of those things haven't been brought out before. But, um, I th- and you know what, pardon me, I-, I hope I don't sound narcissistic or vainglorious, but I got to say, my, like, it, this was probably one of, um, you know, the most, um, I don't know. I, I really enjoyed completing this video. It was like a headache working on. I'm not going to lie to you because it's, it's it's so much. Like, that's just, again, like part two could be two hours. So there's so much that, you know, and then there's so much to add on to what we were seeing to present it in a perspective that's a load of you and, and, and from a Moorish perspective or Al Moroccan or Aboriginal American perspective, you know, um, taking those brands off that that experience, I would say uh, it was very unique. Just it was more than I expected, shall I say? Um, we went. I went. Remember, I went when it first opened. And I want to salute you and acknowledge you for all your support and encouragement, Ma. And um, again, like I said about that video, that's in the description. I also just want to take a moment to acknowledge the brother Jonathan Bay uh, at the Moorish Directory for all the support he's been showing, but also for the conversation that I had with the brother. It was maybe a day or two before I actually went because, honestly, I was in limbo. I'm like, yo, is Moors going to be like, oh, look at this, look at me. He's a dirty Moor for going to the, quote, African-American museum opening and uplifting and letting people know about the Moorish nationality and birthright. At first, I was feeling like that, you know what I'm saying? But I spoke to the brethren, and he was like, look, you know, um, there's, like, it's certain things that are only going to happen one time, meaning there's never going to be a day again, whereas it's going to be the celebration of the opening of that. And there's going to be Moors there who may not know about their nationality and birthright. Where we Moors, a load of your active Moors, are out on the duties, what we're supposed to be doing, out on the hedges and the highways, uplifting fallen humanity. So what I'm saying is that was work. You feel me? I was on the hedges and the highways. Came back. I couldn't use everything at the same time. But then we went back to you and I to go on the inside because when I first went, the waiting list was so long I wasn't able to get in. But I was able to experience that vibration and that feeling of being by that Al Moroccan obelisk, all right? All right, which, you know, all of that was encompassed in the math that our ancestor, Benjamin Banneker Bay, laid out, you know, because he was a mathematician. And when I say that, that encompasses astrology and geography, meaning he was also using the stars for earth measurements because he, he, he had the almanac he was posting. And, and this is how you know it's divine and national. And you got a more woman or man, mother or son, however you want to look at it. 
when they have almanacs, listen to what I'm saying. That's divine right there. That's divinity. You're dealing with divinity. You got an almanac. That means you're charting the stations or you're, char- you're charting the movement of the sun. You know when you can manifest things here, here on earth. Like, that's divinity. But it's also nationality because in his almanac, he's posting political rich. Feel me? In the almanac, though. So in the almanac, he has letters to Thomas Jefferson published. So even though he was he was he was a master astrologer or MA, you know, he also was, was manifesting in politics in his divinity. So meaning that you was going to get an almanac but you was also getting political references and writs in your almanac though. In your almanac. So you like you would have to wonder, well shit, if I'm a farmer and I'm dealing with the land Right, and I'm 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 trying to get the math on what time I should plant, what time is gonna be a waste of time to plant, when I should expect a harvest. You studying all of these things but you're getting, you know, your writs about how Thomas Jefferson was trashed for his actions. And the same thing that you studying how to manifest, you know, products that are gonna grow from the earth from, that should let you know there's something divine and national about something that's going on with these politics. You know what I mean? So what I'm saying is that um, I appreciate I appreciate who I am. I appreciate who you are, Kujo, Ana E, all Moors, everywhere. I highly appreciate us, you know, and I really do. And I just want to make it clear that, yeah, we here. Don't ever forget that, you know what I'm saying? This is divine and national, and has been that way for centuries. You know what I mean? And and this is no type of slight on Nobu Jali. However, they was dealing with the divinity and nationality uh, principles. Principles is what I'm saying. Previous to that, and before the Europeans was even thought of or considered, uh, you know, even considered to be brought into law on the North American land. These were the sciences we were moving with. So, you know, um, when even even when we look at the Circle 7, and it's talking about how Egypt was the capital of the dominion of Africa, like, you know what I mean? Like, the dominion of a medicine. We're talking about a capital of an empire, no different than they calling Washington, D.C., the quote-unquote nation's capital when it's not. But what I'm saying is when you go there, you you expect a certain symbol, a certain level of civilization that reflects everybody from, 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 from all over the continent. That's what you would expect from a quote-unquote nation's capital. Likewise with Moors, all right? So-called Egypt is the capital. So when you go there, you know, or you look at the things there, Moors were showing up and showing out and showing off in the capital because they knew, like, this is our place to to, to show and prove that we could do this anywhere. But we picked this locale. This is where we're going to show and prove we're the mothers and fathers of civilization, which y'all can't figure out to this day. Can't figure out how the pyramids was built. You understand? So, again, pardon me. Um, you know, I, I don't like to look at ourselves as Negroes, niggers, or anything like that. But it's a fact that some of our people act like that. That's true, that some of our people act like that outside of their own proper person. So they're not even in appropriate persona. Thus, they're acting as if they're niggardly, and they're not. But this is how they're acting. They have so many creative skills and abilities. There's no reason why we can't network. You understand? But again, like people are thinking the fiat first. And I'm like, true. But, you know, I also came up listening to sovereign artists. And when I say that, I mean, like, you know, you got to remember, we so called 21st century, the first decade is when everything started to transition 
and you was mentioning this, Hakeem Bay was mentioning this last week on the Wednesday class, well, we're moving into the realm of all sovereigns. So if you go back to, let's just say, let's say 2004 to 2009, if we take an artist uh, or a lyricist, like, such as Pat Poos, and this is not for nothing. I know everybody don't rock with him, whatever. But what I'm saying is when he first hit the scene in the first decade of the 21st century, he was master of his of his work, meaning that he put out, like, 20 mixtapes in two years with all, all monster, like, just supreme lyrics. But that was all coming back to him. Like, because he was putting out his own creative product without a middleman. And the fact that he did that, that's when Jive came to the scene like, well, we see what you're doing without the major company. We'll back you up with 1.5 mil because we already see what you're doing. You put your, your, your skill on exhibition. You put your skill on the world. I mean, he said, forget it. If I get five notes for every CD, then I'm good. If I get three, whatever. So what I'm saying is that the concept of having your own product and being industrious with it is way different than saying, you know what, I'm going to bootleg all of this person's CDs and and resell them. Like, that's way different because anybody could do that. But do you have skills that you can actually make tangible? This is where, you know, and then it's crazy because, Without considering that, they want to talk about people doing Negro-type business when their mentality is Negroid. Like, I'm not, and I know for a fact our nationality is not Negro, black, and color. But what I'm saying is more is y'all are way more creative than that, meaning that, you know, no, it doesn't make us any type of sucker because we post a link to Kane and Lamore's page or to the Wisdom of the Womb album and we don't want a penny from it, that don't make us no suckers. Like, no. Because we, 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 we're, we're and, and I know some lames can't relate, but we are divinely, spiritually enriching ourselves every time we get on these platforms because we know what we're capable of doing. We know the value in each other. That everybody has something to bring to the table. So, like, you know, this this is like, this is basically our ritual. Just like people can have their Sunday dinners this, this Tuesday night. This is our family dinner meeting. And we all know what we bring into the table. So I'm not going to be afraid to step away from that and know what we bring to the table and bring that to, to the table if I do go into another kitchen or whatnot. This is all I'm saying. So... When people don't have, because, like, for all of that, you know what I mean. Like, if 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 I'm gonna if I'm gonna buy if I'm gonna buy Wisdom of the Womb albums for twenty notes, and then try to turn around and sell them for forty, like, the risk like doing that is licentious. It's just straight up licentious. There's no honor in that type of business. You know what I'm saying? However, if I'm like, okay, this is what I do, and I put a link to who's selling the Wisdom of the Womb albums, that's honorable. That's very honorable because we were putting in work together before any of that. So we ain't nobody trying to get rich off of somebody or, you know what I'm saying, like I got to charge. Like if I make a video, not that Kujo would do this because you know, better than that, and you you know if anybody knows Dirty Moors when you spot them, but what I'm saying is, I will be out of my brain frame, you know what I'm saying, act as if um, I have to charge Cujo, you know what I'm saying, um, uh, uh, five notes for every click he gets from advertising on my video. Now, I would say, that's not to say we're not supposed to get See, I, I'm not saying we're supposed to be in poverty or lack or anything like that. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying that there's a way to go about it sincerely where we all could do things. And then when you put in that work, people recognize what you're doing, and then they come with the bag. So 
again, like I said, I don't know about others, but I I personally, I'll take Pat Poos for an example because he was just dropping mixtapes that sounded better than albums consistently every month. So he had 20 out and then got, because he did that and took his own initiative to put the work out and to say this is what I do, that's when everybody caught on and was like, we got the 1.5 million note back for you. You feel me? Because he just put the work in. So all I'm saying is just put the work in, man. Like, stop playing. Yeah. Put the work in. Yeah, what you're saying really, um, the prophet said it already. He said there's work enough for everyone. Um, that's it. And so we all have to do our portion. Uh, but it is uh, it is uh, time, I guess, now to open up the, the line. For, and so if anyone has a question or comment, they can press one on their telephone, and we will take their their question or comment. I do have a couple that are open already, and I want to make sure that with Kujo, I think that's four, four, three, eight, nine. All right, so if you have a question or comment, press one on your telephone dial, and we'll take your your question. Okay, who do we have here? All right, four 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 three nine. You're on the air. Do you have a question or comment? Uh, peace and greetings, family. I am Hassan Ghazi Obey at Northwestern Maxim. How's the family? All right. How are you? I'm going great, actually. And and normally I would just you know say excellent class, which you know it definitely is. But I do want to comment a little further. Um, uh, because of what has been transpiring with people with their their barcodes on their cards and uh, their USARs, and especially um, I remember um, videos and conversations. Okay, I'll just say that briefly with those of us that are on the line, actually. And 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 specifically, Kujo. I remember one time Kujo, you was like, "Hey, man, like you know, when you ask questions, you're gonna get what you need, not what you want." What's funny now, like almost like a, a year or so, two, almost two years later after that conversation, and really realizing when you guys were like, um, as well, like, you know, people are going to, re- they're going to rear their heads. And it's funny because it's almost like you're in a nursery and you're growing. You come to the truth for your nationality and birthright. You're growing. And there's other people you're growing with. And then you find yourself genuinely wanting to do what you're learning and, you know, you're watching these videos of Taj or listening to the principles of nationality and broadcast or listening to Sons of the Law or, or reading the literature from R.V. Bay. And then you realize that when people get to a certain level of understanding or they comprehend to a certain extent their nationality and birthright, what happens is this, like, agenda zit pops up you know what I mean, in, in their maturation, so to speak. And and some people don't know how to pop that zip proverbially. So what they do is they become infatuated with it, they keep looking at it, and they're not being, for you know, lack of better uh, uh, analogy, they're not being proactive in making sure that that um, defacement, because <laughs> that's really what it is, is 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 you know eradicated so to speak and and taking it up from the root. So what what's happening in my uh, from from my perspective in my opinion and in defense uh, of the prophet as well as our Dejour family, the MHHS family, and those that are now speaking against it or trying to find their own agendas, what they're realizing or not realizing is that they're getting the answer that they need. And that answer is to study because that's the only shortcut. And when those that profess that they study but really don't, it really shows in a kind of like what's done in the dark comes to the light kind of fashion. So what you start to see is despite the outward displays that people have put on the record, whether it's Facebook Live whether it's so-called blog talk radios, what actually is starting to manifest is who they really are on the inside, that seed really blossoming into what it was meant to be. And, And what you really start to realize is that roses have thorns. 
Do you get what I'm saying there? Because cause, cause, cause in order to have a beautiful head, there's some rough things that the body has to go through. And for those uh, those people out there that are not going through the rough and, and getting themselves built to be a beautiful head, you see what I'm saying? Um, what What is actually happening is they're finding excuses to not blossom into who they're meant to be, so they become those that are planted at the, by the wayside. You thought they was on fertile ground, but they wither away. You know what I mean? Or they're over by the, the, the thorns and the briar patches. You thought they were growing on fertile ground, but they're scorched. And it shows in their actions. It shows when they say things like, oh, yeah, it says more American on the, on the card. Well, let's just, you know, be scholars about that before complaining about what a uh, document, which is yours, that you've had, you know, a brief about who you are. Now you're, it's like, it's like, I remember what Todd just said in the video, it's, it's like you, you look in the mirror and you're suing yourself because you don't like something about yourself. And that's really what, what people are doing, even though it just comes off as a Facebook rant or YouTube rant. But what they're doing is they're, they're cutting their nose just to spite their face because they have not taken a time to really analyze looking in the mirror and really getting to know themselves. And I'm saying that from experience. Because there was one point in time where I was like, oh, well, why isn't it this way and that way? And then that's when Kujo was like, sometimes you're just going to get the answer you need and not what you want. And I was like, you know what? I never looked at it like that. And since then is when I started shutting up and stopped bitching and moaning, pardon my expression, and then really started realizing, oh, I'm my own problem. I'm getting in my own way. Because if I was a scholar, when I saw more American on my card, and seen videos about Todd saying more short for Moabite, which is all you know the uh, ancient name. Also, we're really saying uh, we're Moabite Al Moroccans when we get down to the morphology of the terms that are being used to denote what our nationality is. Oh, that's what's being said when we trace the root meaning of that, the denotation of that. Yeah. Instead of not being a scholar, now what we're doing is. We're getting into slander. We're getting into violating not only the Constitution's free law of the land because that's violating everyone's fourth bill of right to be mm-hmm. safe in their person's houses, tables, and effects because you're causing a panic via incompetence. You, you, you see what I'm saying? And that, and that is injurious. Oh, yeah. mental, you, you know what I mean? Which is also a violation of bill of right one because we all have the freedom to express, which the root being pressed, and speak how we seem fit or, 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 or what is duly fit in, in the laws of nature. Now, granted, three years ago, I wouldn't have probably said anything like this because I would have been trying to figure out, you know, oh, well, how do I get out of this? And, and that's not it. What we really have to get that we need to brainwash due to our brain being dirty, due to conditioning of a few generations before us dropping the ball not wanting to do what Prophet Noble Drew Ali prescribed, which when you really do take your time to die to your personality and die to yourself, you really realize that you've been wasting your time with well, what we have right. been conditioned Cause, with. Because guess what? I remember a time when people would say, well, I don't want to be more ish because that means that I'm liking to. And I'm like, well, I have on an uh, outfit and it looks very moorish. So, like, you know, like we didn't understand – so so here's the thing, is I, I don't want to be more rich. I want, you know, I just wanted to be more. But it has nothing to do with what, like you said, it's the, the answer you get is, is, is the answer you need. Um, we understand perfectly why, well, it's like, you know, like I said, Kuzo already went through the class on it, and, and we'll probably talk a little bit more on it uh, tomorrow, but... Moorish American is a political jurisdiction for Moors, which is established when you come into that uh, association of the um, MST of A that, it, that the prophet established and the bylaws for to teach you how to behave when you go out into the world. So what happens is their point is, well, the prophet didn't say we were more American. No, it's a political jurisdiction for Moors. More in American is the same thing. I'm a Rockin. And you make a point, Moabite. Really, this is about the Moabite nation. And so, um, you know, if, 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 if the institution and the program was established to teach you to 
be who you are, which is more, then that's what you concentrate on in terms of getting the lessons there and and knowing who you are. So you're right. But I can't speak for what's in someone's head. Like, for instance, when this person put this up, you know, the statement was, I didn't, I could just see their head shaking, you know. I didn't want to go here, but our main publications got more American instead of more American, and, you know, I bet you they won't give you your money back. You know, and all that stupid stuff, like whoever this person is who I don't know, um, they they could have uh, contacted and we could have given them the answer. Or even if they didn't want the answer, they just wanted to do what they did. All they did was show their lack of knowledge. They all oh, That's all they did. Because they're not wrong. Do you understand what I mean? That that's how you look. That's how it's looked at. <laughs> indeed, indeed, indeed. Whether they see it now or not, and and create uh, disparities that don't have to exist. And then now, all right, well, why don't you get this lesson? Because obviously, you didn't get it's something you missing, you know. And you're not working on the bylaws that, see, here's the other thing, and we've said this before, people think that, you know, when the prophet said enforce the constitution, divine constitution and bylaws, you know, they get that confused with what the constitution is, the national constitution, the American national constitution of which they need to answer up to, right? All right, so they yeah. get it confused because they're just working in this little box thing here, Um and there are some people who think that you can't be a Moor unless you are in the temple. Yet the temple is a build, is an establishment to teach you to be who you are, and so 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 it just shows the limitations. There's no argument at all that you know that your temple cards can say Moorish American for the most part. That's what most of them say. Nobody's arguing that. But it just, you know, it just shows the level of not, of not studying, of not studying at I, all. I agree. You know? I agree. So, I just, yeah. Go ahead, mother. I'm, I, I, I yield. Go ahead. I'm listening. No, go ahead. Go ahead. No, I was just wanted to say, like, lastly, this is my last two points, and I, I'm going to yell the floor because I know other people want to get on. Um, I remember a conversation, um, and it was very light. But it was very profound, um, Ms. And I don't know if you remember that conversation, but you, you know, he was like, Yo, "You ever seen Karate Kid with Jackie Chan and um, and uh, Will Smith's son?" And I was like, uh, "Nah." <laughs> but when it came on, you know, what I mean, on the DVR or whatever, I immediately like sent you like a screenshot, like, "Yo, it it came on next day, like it came on." And there is the part where basically Jackie Chan is, you know, I'm paraphrasing, is telling the Will Smith son's character that you basically got to, you know, concern yourself with yourself and, and me, you know, uh, you know, being around, you know, the family, like, you know, you guys, that stood out as I self law and master. So when people are, you know, coming out and saying these different things or making these moves and taking the literature and trying to, you know, foolishly mark it up, it, it really does expose not only their incompetence, but they're not really ready to handle themselves. Yeah. They're not really yeah. ready to, you know, take care of their own affairs within themselves. And it goes deeper than just what you can do externally for yourself. It's really a, a mental thing. But um, that, that, was, that was the last thing I wanted to mention before this. There's also, I want to just say this because it came across my phone today. So to all the people that's mm-hmm. listening to this or will listen to the archives, um, mm-hmm. there's still this being out there that's telling people to register with the Library of Congress. So I wanted to put that out on the table. What happened was, Is it what? In, in light, I'll say it lightly, there's this being out there who's calling himself a sultan. I shouldn't have to go too much further with that, um, um, which I, I disagree with. with. So I'm just going to say, you know, for the record, this is Brother well, Hassan just saying what he thinks. But I don't know um, anything about that, but... Um, I was warning the people. I was letting them know, look, I didn't do anything. I mean, to, you know, register with the Library of Congress and get the three certificates that CM Bay had put out there and all this other stuff. It's like, I haven't had one problem with my general and permanent character um, since I've had my loyal American nationality card. I, I've, um, well, I've had no problem. Well, actually... So, um, 
<clears throat> seeing base workers put into the Library of Congress and the Justice yes. Department, willing by the, that he wanted it to be there, you know, so that it was actually availed. Now, now, it's not registering with the Library of Congress. That's the wrong wording. What used to happen until someone infiltrated, yeah, there you and go. Co-op, they got that co-op that this process. Is that people? This was so simple, and this is how our people just so. Uh, I don't even know what the word is. Well, what would happen is if you wrote to the Library of Congress to get a authentic copy of that, all right, and then the Library of right. Congress sent it to you as an authentic copy and addressed it to you in your proper. Appalachian, Moorish Appalachian. Of course, you would write to them in your Moorish Appalachian. Now, it was, it's just an additional affirmance, aff, uh, affirming that you now also have mail that comes from the Library of Congress addressed to you, all right? So it's just an additional affirming. Then someone came in that my understanding had no authority to do so, how they finagled, how they did it, I don't know, whatever. And they moved those books. And this is a Morris brother. And made it so that you had to, you know, you you had to go some other place or, you know, move them into another uh, category or, or catalog or whatever. And literally made it so that the only way you could get them was to go through them. That was, in, you know, that, that they really messed up that simple affirmance of being able to do that. But they weren't thinking about the nation. They weren't thinking about the people. They were thinking about something called club mentality, of which the prophet, you Noble know, Ali said himself, I'm taking the covers off of the societies like that. So they did that, you know, and just screwed up that whole process selfishly. You know, this is this is this is the mentality of our, our people. So I don't know where that person is now or what that you know, but that's what really happened. So it's not really like a registering. Now maybe someone else has latched on to that for their own personal whatever and created something else. The real deal is that we ought to be ourselves. The prophet said I came to teach you to be yourself. Period. Not that, you know, simple, but that, I mean, it's not that complicated, it's simple, but that's really what that is. So it's not a disagreement to it, but it might be a disagreement to whatever the process is that this person is dealing with. So I don't know who that is, but, you know, I haven't heard that, but that's what I do know in reference to how that was supposed to, how that did used to go down and how it ought to be going down. So. Well, thank you for your call. I do have uh, another caller or two or three. And um, we uh, we thank you for your call. Are you, I think you may have dropped off. Wait a minute. Man, people are dropping off like flies. I think he's gone. Well, we thank you anyway for your call. And we're going to take the next. Caller, and I believe I have two more, but I have four one zero six six one. Is this you on the air? Do you have a question or a comment? No, that, that, that's me, Mother Rise. I just wanted to. Uh, oh, that is you. All right, so you yeah. did. All right. Well, thank you for. I don't know how you came to be here. Yeah. I'm so sorry. All right. Yeah, so, I just wanted to say thank, thank you so much. I love you, family. Excellent class. Islam, peace and love. Islam, thank you. All right. Something is wrong with this thing. Mute. Number seven instead of mute. Okay. Interesting. All right. The next caller is, uh, what is it? 805910. You're on the air. State your name, your appellation, question or comment. Oh, Islam. Islam. Sister, Sister Indigo, I'm well ill. Um, Northwest of Mexican right. Territory, Khalifa, uh-huh. and uh, uh-huh. I just want to say thank you first of all because you covered a lot of a lot of ground tonight. 
And uh, I wanted to let Ms. Maureen know that I did watch the video for the, uh, the so-called African American Museum, and it wow. was excellent. That's your editing, that's considering that's what the, you're not a you're not a proficient filmmaker, but you're on your way, um, was very very good. Um, having worked in that industry, I'm I'm here to tell you that you, you you're about to make some stuff happen. So I need you to keep my number so you can contact me about some connections I want to share with you to get them, some things done probably with a little bit more support because I am in Los Angeles. I do have those connections and I would be able to um, help the family out with that. Since this is a family dinner meeting, I wanted to cover some things and I just wanted to say um, I appreciate the brother before just, he mentioned how roses also have thorns, which helped me to appreciate my brother Cujo, you know, having, the, the smell of rose that he has, but also having the thorns that he has, we go to tango, you know, in the bushes with that. So I'm going to leave that. I do have, I did have some questions for him, and I left them. It wasn't Cujo, but I have I left that statement for Cujo because I had a question for him earlier, and his thorns came out, and he didn't answer me. So I'm going to wait uh-oh, for that response uh-oh, at another really? time. <laughs> I and, think he's still on the line. Because I love my brother. We, we are family. We are family. All right. So well at a given a time, I don't think this is a good time. Right. You're going to answer my question? Right <laughs> you on the line? All right. Cujo, this is a question for you with regard to the nation and the, the accountability for the Morris Science Temple of America and the Grand Sheiks. I had asked you who your, grand, who your Supreme Grand Sheik was, and you gave me a really, and I won't, I won't get into it negatively because this is a family dinner, and we have to behave ourselves. But you gave no, me no, an answer I, I that was not acceptable. No, what, what answer did I and give so, you? And so, what answer well, did I, I give don't, you? Well, I don't want to read the e- the email back was really nasty. And no, if I have I, to read I, it, I'm, I don't think it would be appropriate. I'm, what answer did I give you? <laughs> but I love you. you I will tell you like, that. You're talking like because I, I know, have something to hide. I know you have a. I know your heart is. Hold big. on, he's he's speaking. He's speaking back to you. Uh, I'm sorry. Did you want? To... Go ahead. I didn't hear you. Go ahead. Answer, no, go no, ahead. no, just saying that if I if I gave you the answer and you didn't like it, that's not that's not my problem. No, you didn't okay. answer okay. me. You gave me an alternative response that was not very kind, to say the least. Okay. So well, I would love I, you to, if you could respond to me, you could do it in writing, if that's appropriate, and we can talk, we can communicate at another time about that to clear the air, to clear the spirit. Because I know no, that well, you, why, you have good intentions. But why would you yes. bring it up now? I'm listening. If you want to talk about it later. I'm bringing why it up now. Yeah. Up? I, because when I try. I was going to say the same. You want me to answer the question? Yeah. No, mm. see, you can't. You okay. See, you're saying that you're not going to read it and we don't want you to. And you're saying we can talk about it later, but you're bringing it up on, 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 this, on, on this broadcast. So that means that you obviously don't mean that or. That there's something else. No. Because if it's if it's we'll talk no, later be because it's not this, then why bring it up now on this line? Let me, That's let question. me clarify this. Let me clarify this for you. Because it it can lead to a derogatory conversation because of the nature. I That's why you shouldn't have brought it up. That. That's the point. No. That's no, point. I had to bring it up because Cujo is not responding. Listen to what I'm saying, please hear me out. No, no. Cujo is not responding well, respectfully but... and honorably as a Moorish American brother ought to, period. So in order for me to communicate well, with someone, this is what I did. Let me are just you... give you the, yes. the background of this. Yeah, okay. Am I writing about this? Is that the question? I'm sorry, say that again. Why am I communicating about this matter at the family table? Basically, is that what you're asking me? Yeah, you're 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 actually contradicting um, yourself because you're saying, well, no, I'm not going to do that because it's not kind, and you're admitting that it's derogatory, and he's not answering. But our question no, is, that's not, I'm I'm that's not what no, I'm that saying. That's not what I'm saying. Let me clear myself up said. for you. No, no, that's let exactly me, let me what clear you this said. Up. Our question then is let why me clarify what I mean by what I said. Let me clarify what I mean by what I said. Okay. Cujo, 
I asked you a question. Who was your Supreme Grand Sheik? You did not respond to me and give me an answer. I wrote. Yeah, well, I, I, no, I even wrote no the fam- Let me finish my statement. Let me finish my statement. I even wrote the family to ask questions to get insight on the situation. I waited two weeks. I've heard nothing. The response I did get from you was derogatory. It was it was negative. It Maybe was not the, the mind. No, let me. Whatever your reason is, whatever the reason is, you didn't answer me. So I put that on the table. You can answer no, me I, now, I answer or I did. I, I did answer you. You didn't answer. You me. got a reply. Who's your you Supreme Grand like Sheik? Reply that you got. Who's your Supreme Grand Sheik? How do you no Supreme Grand Sheik on this show? I don't have, Sheik? Sheik? Do I don't have a I don't have a Supreme okay. Grand Sheik. That's why that's why I All answered right. you. How oh, I answered you? Because by calling me a you're troll. To imply, say by again? calling oh, me no, a no. troll. No, 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 yeah. no, sister. You so can't come the, on this forum with why, that. The, the I'm reason a, why I, I didn't even want to get troll. into that. I said specifically reason, that I would prefer to talk hold to him. Hold on a moment, sister. Calm down for a second. Why, the, the you know why? You know why? called a this troll. This is what I understand. Is because, is because you chose to use the YouTube comments, whatever, to write your books to me about how you feel. People who know me know, people who know me, right, know that Mm -hmm. if you're coming on some social media to try to talk to me like you're talking to me, you're not getting me. You're getting my social media alter ego who's going to cuss you out, tell you about whatever it is that I tell you, and you take it all you want. Alter ego. That's up to you. You have an alter ego. Right. I'm telling you. I'm telling you that you're if, saying you have an alter you, ego. You think I'm telling you, right? Listen to me very carefully because I don't like to repeat myself. I'm telling you that if you choose to deal with me online via email, social media, or the likes, you are gonna get talked to like a troll. Like what? People All who right. so that's people what, who All right. So hold on, I'm talking, hold on. People who I people who I deal with sincerely, mm-hmm. they call my phone. Mm-hmm. They don't send me goddamn and messages. And what happened when you called me? And I have me. You cursed me, Kujo. You disrespected All me right. and you violated and, Act Three. And and what and why did I do that? Because of the same reason There's no why reason why you should Mother have Ross, the same reason why Mother Ross is telling you right now, why are you even talking about this now? Right? Thank why you, you. Why are you and bringing what stuff up and then you don't want to talk about stuff? You're you bringing up stuff because then apparently, you don't want to talk about stuff. You, no, apparently, sister, listen, I love you too, but you're disrespecting this forum. I'm disrespecting. With a direct, yes, you are. All right. with the, yes, what, what Kujo just said. A direct I question? To, I have to, let, me, let, me, let me speak, please. What Kujo right. just said about, which I know nothing about whatever th- that interchange is, nothing I that's true. But what he just said about with you coming onto a social forum with these things, well, that's what you just now did on the show. You just did what he said you were doing. And if you are not getting an answer or the answer that you want from Kujo, you should never mm-hmm. bring it here. What's that got to do? We can't answer what the question well, you had for any one of us can't answer that question for another one. But what I what is clear is that that is true because you, you're coming on this forum, which is really not cool because it's just as he said. And then you're 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 directing directly at him because you either don't like the fact of whatever answer he may have given you, or, or sister, you don't like the fact that he may not have answered you. Well, that's his choice to not answer you. What does that have to do with this forum? Nothing. So you are It has everything to do with this. With this. It has Why, how do you determine do that? How do you don't determine get me wrong. First of all, I will, don't say, I, will say, I will say, Sister Roz, that what you're saying is absolutely correct in the proper context. However, what you're missing is that I sent a response, a general response to him on the social media. 
It was a basic response. I asked the question. Wrong, he didn't even, wrong, he didn't even know. It doesn't Let me matter. finish wrong, what I'm saying. It doesn't matter what you're it saying. It does. Listen. No, it wrong, doesn't matter. You know what? Apparently, a grand sheik that. is not a grand sheik is a grand sheik. Who's the, who who yeah, determines that? Who determines that? that? Who that? You know? I keep, I keep all right, all right. Right. That? No, but you Ali determines that. And when you curse a sister out and you disrespect oh, me, knowing who I am, right, knowing that that's how the conversation began, wife. you're out of order. You were out of order. Okay, you. I keep okay. telling all right. people. So you now you hold on a second. You hold on a second. You hold on a second. You hid. Just like someone who's telling you. I'm asking you. I'm asking you to hold on a moment, please. Restraint. Right. You're talking about no restraint from Kujo or whatever. I'm asking you. I didn't say because that. Because you are out of order to come on this forum with this. You really are. So I'm going to ask you to hold on a second. Kujo, did you have something that you wanted to say or or or, or not? No, I, I, keep, I come from studying Noble Juali's work. When hmm. I studied, when I studied the... Mysteries of the Silent Brotherhood, I got taught that the priesthood is dead. A grand sheik is a priest. A grand governor is a priest. A grand treasurer, a divine minister, any of these heads and officials of the Morris Science Temple of America are priests. The priesthood is dead. Mm. So mm. all you people playing this stupid ass shit about Kudrow's a grand sheik and he needs to this and that or whatever like that. But you guys aren't talking mm-hmm. about these dirty moors who's been bitch ass grand sheiks for the past wow. 30, 50, 60 years and haven't done anything wow. with the Moorish movement. And I come into the movement innocent. Yeah. You know what I mean? I bother nobody. And I pay more dues, financial dues. You could ask wow. Brother Amari wow. Elbe, right? Financial wow. dues and every other type of dues that there is to pay. I know I paid mine. So nobody out here could come tell me anything about how I'm supposed to do this and how I'm supposed to do it and I'm supposed to do this and I'm supposed to do that because I don't have a leash on. I'm not, I'm I'm not, anybody's, I'm not anybody's boy toy that they could play around with my I'm birthright because of some title or, or, or some charter or some BS like that. Been told people that. This is not about and because a title. You're new, and because you're new, I understand that you're, you're no, ignorant. No, it's about of your disrespectful things. ways and your disrespectful No, no, no it's tongue. not about disrespectful Regardless ways. Regardless of the no, position, the title, that. or the name, it's not about you that. violated. You it's violated. Not about that. What did I violate? What did sister, I violate? I can't believe you vi- that you would come on this forum. And but I'm going to believe. Believe. I'm going to call out. I'm going to call out. I'm going to call it out because he's he's throwing rocks. What did I violate? Tell me what I violated. Tell me what I violated. One thing. I don't know that she's, I think she's still there. Wait a minute. Yeah, she's still there. Hold on. Oh, wait a minute. Hold on, sis. But oh, don't shoot. throw rocks and high. Sis, hold don't on a moment. Rocks and hide. Hey, listen. Listen, sis, the divine law had it so that, and I I, 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 to, I tell truth. Oh, don't do it that. It might have been someone else who muted you. You are out of order, and I think that um, the over. Um, I'm going to yield the floor. And I'm going to go ahead and write my letter, and I'm going to go ahead and proceed listen, as accordingly. Listen to me. I listen sent you, for a second, I sent you a letter, sister, sister Ross Mariah Bay. You did not look at it. Because you're just proving, you're proving your out of orderness. No. Who are I'm you out of order because letter? the whole situation is out of order. The whole vibe is out of no, order. This the whole conversation is out of order. But you are not going to blame me. You're not going to blame me, you what you have done. Gonna blame what me for you the have done is you and your phone call to this forum. I hope the listeners are listening to this. You have bought this I made this a statement. Order. No, you have bought this. You're talking about what's out of order. I brought this order or this order was already there? Kujo was no, out of order. To me. You must see listen it. Listen to me. You won't if I would be out of so order to show what? you that, then that's what I am. Then that's what I am. If you that. have to do what? It's wrong. See, if you I have to be out of order, form. in order for you to see that there's this order, then that's what role I have to play right now. Because I'm not. So going to allow this I got a good to be in a for public you. place I got a very time. good question for you. Here's a good, here's a very sure. good question. Who are you who are you writing a letter to? Who are you writing a letter to? Who am I writing a letter to? You said you're going to write a letter. 
I wrote a letter well, to oh, you. Gonna, you're going to write a letter to me about Cujo. <laughs> well, so then you're trying about, to bring this, the situation. You're trying to bring. You're trying to bring a. Uh, I'm uh, trying to do what? <laughs> I'm not you're, trying so to do you're, anything. You're right, I'm, making me, I'm, I'm making All a right. statement. I'm making a statement. The I statement is you, you cannot call people niggas. No, but you at least said not to do that. You cannot disrespect mm-hmm. people mm-hmm. because they're in a lower place of mind or in understanding than you are. You cannot elevate yourself. Nobody is anything here in this All room right. unless so here's what you do. Allah says so. You, oh, Allah too bad. Says so. So, so too bad, so sad. Too bad, so sad. We're elevating ourselves now. All right, we're going to talk to somebody. So you it's consider a, well, what you want to what? consider this. Well, all right, but guess it. what? Consider this, I'm unfortunately. I, no, well, then be fine with it. I'm, and I'm sorry you, you don't understand. I'm sorry I'm not presenting myself in a perfect manner. I don't need and it's to understand. To how you I don't need to understand. I, that's fine. You know what? I don't, I'm, I'm I don't good with need, that. I do not need to understand this that. issue you have this whole situation, by uh, way. directly that you brought to this forum and called this this enchantment. I here. brought a question to the forum and it got under the fence because you're you defending are someone who's out of order. You see, you know, see, I, I won't have to say anything else to you. Is this one in my over us, and it's we. Rec- I was speaking. I was speaking, and then it. I started getting attacked. So it's all right. No, 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 no. And I'm going to hang up? All right, I'm going to yield the floor. I'm yielding the floor because apparently, apparently, I'm going to have to yield the floor. Because apparently, this is not. Here is what is going to happen. Now you're attacking our forum on top of that, right? All right. No, I'm not attacking anything. Put that. You can say what you want me to say. The proof is in the action. The proof is in the action. I have all the I have all the documentation. If you oh want to see gosh. it, if you want to review it, you're welcome to. Refre- if I did review it, I would be disrespected over by this man, line, over this forum, even if I did review it. It didn't have to be like that. Yeah. You asked the question, even if you probably can be on the line. Even if I did review it, if I did review it, it doesn't, it, it matter doesn't anymore. belong on the forum. And that's what you brought to the table. And you are in great terror and lack of reflection. Be, I'm in grave error reflected. because this is a family meeting, you say? This is a family meeting, you say? You said this is a conversation. If I have a question for Cujo, go ahead and ask him. I made it clear that I wanted to speak to Cujo about something specific. My other question to Sister, that never even got have answered. A good life. It never even have got a presented. Good life. Have a good life. My life Sister. is going to be great. You. We, I know if that. you love me, and then I'm show it. You. Show me love. Don't tell me you love me. Show me you love me. And that's the problem with yeah, more. Right, you need to talk about it. Hold on. She needs you don't call to a nigga and tell them that they're love. That's not how it works. Can I interject? Can I interject? Because I know for a fact. I have nothing else to say about it. I know for a fact. I'm done. I know for a fact, right? I know for a fact that you got a bigger package than you bought from RV Bay Publications. So don't tell me nothing about people don't show that they love you and all that stuff. Don't start that Excuse hypocritical bullshit. Excuse me. If that's what you call love, are you buying because, me now? Are you saying I'm being bought? Because, because, are you saying because I'm being bought? You didn't bald? have to get. You didn't now, have to get what you got. You didn't have to do You didn't have to get what you got. This is what I'm talking about. The out of order mindset. You didn't have to get what you got. Right? You didn't have to get what you got. You're coming on this platform. I'm using her. You're talking BS. It's unfortunate that I had to. You're coming on. I'm using her. You're coming on this platform. And you're talking BS with regard to what I say, I curse somebody out, whatever like that. You're not talking nothing to these dirty bastards that sold out the Marsh movement for 30, 40, 50 years. You're not talking nothing about the individuals who took Noble Juali's work and went and did some BS with it. But you have an issue with somebody who's taking Noble Juali's work and doing something at least kind of right with it. That's yes, the most yes. backward ass shit I ever heard, ever. Because nobody could talk BS about me. I'm, I'm talking for myself. Nobody could talk any BS about me that I didn't pay my dues with regard to the Moorish movement. Nobody. Right? All right. Because I, then, know that, I know that my dues got paid. And it's very apparent, have, very clear, I, that people have emotional issues that they need to get in check before they come try to check me because my stuff's in check. Yeah. All right. Well, that be that because I can tell you this for certain. I know. I can I can do a census right now. 
if I wanted to. And everybody would know that this sister is way out of order. Unfortunately, because she doesn't see it, now she hung up. That's good because I muted her. So I guess she's not going to listen and she's not going to call. And here's the deal. If she had an issue with you, that is between you and her. For her, you made a great point. All of these sell out more for 100 years. They're doing all this stuff. And this beautiful sister as she must be because she is a sister, um, is going to come on this forum that we've been doing for years and bring that. And then here's the sad part, people, about reflection. Prophet Noble Jirali said that, you know, um, you give that you, man's business, business is about reflection. So I trust that when she, if she ever listens to this, she will see exactly where she was out of order. And even when it was stated, not on this forum, still did not. Then she wants to say, oh, well, this is family. Well, you said it. All of this was family, but she's still out of order. Now, I want to clear up one thing, and I heard you mention this, because, you know, we receive everyone with the spirit in which they give. And so you're right. I had, so that she knows, even though I don't think she's listening now, I don't know. Oh, wait a minute, she may still be there. That, and she may still be talking and not listening. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I had given her some some uh, literature courteously or, or gratis. Now, to show you how messed up we are, she took that, what you said, as if we were buying her. See, that's messed up. Oh, so what are you doing, buying me? Now, I gave her literature. Did you know anything about me giving her literature until after I had done it and told you? Nope. Right. So, therefore, for her, this is how this is how we are. For her to even say or think or imply based on her assertion that you're out of order and you didn't do this and you didn't do that and you said that, that I, R.V. Bay, gave her literature to buy her from her. This is what, now hold on now, people. This is a great example of how screwed up we can be because me sending her literature was along with uh, her her uh, order of her card, and because she had been on the show, on the broadcast a few times, and we really liked her spirit and her knowledge of spirituality and stuff like that, and we was receiving her, I, me, by myself, alone, having nothing to do with anyone, and certainly not having anything to do with the permission of anyone else and or a supreme grand sheik or anything like that. Because if she might not even know that I'm a sheep. Maybe she's going to ask me who's my supreme grand sheep next. I don't know. So I decided to send her something as a gift, and she just turned it into something ugly. You see what I'm saying? Talking about, oh, you no, bought I, me off? Wow. Now let, me just add this. let me just add this, too, just for the listeners, since we have listeners and they listen every week. Just so you know, I already informed other Moors because people think that they can pull stuff on Cujo, but I'm I'm smarter than the average bear, okay? When she called in the past four classes or whatever like that, and she had this tone of she has an issue or something like that, she was talking to Cujo without saying Cujo, just so you guys know. I don't think she was she was generalizing when she was calling those last times with her little ranting. She was talking about Kudro without mentioning Kudro, right? Because again, if you want to deal with me, call me on the phone. I have no issue talking to anybody. But if you're not going to accept what I say and you're trying to convince me of some other stuff that I know is some BS. You're going to get your ass cussed out because I know better. I'm not these these passive grand sheiks out here that don't study and, and don't know law and, and don't know metaphysics and don't know how to do rituals and don't know how to, to do stuff. Like, I'm, I'm a more that came up in 
being active. Before I was a more, we were in the community doing work. So I already know, I already dealt with all the dynamics of all the Negro mentalities that our people have. I already dealt with every type of sister, from the most divine sister to the lowest sister that you could find. I already know how people get down. So stop trying to sway me into your own little box of how Kudrow's supposed to be. Do all you told me be myself. Can I answer a question? This sister, um, and I guess maybe she can answer it better, but was she always, apparently she was, was she always in the temple or, you know, did she come from being in the temple previous to making connections no. with her, or with uh, this show and, and the only, with you? The only, the only way I had contact with her is because she had an issue with not getting her stuff from RV Bay Publication, stuff taking long. Oh, well, I mean, which is I mean, we already had that discussion with each other. Yeah, which, yeah which, you know what I mean? Which is why she's so comfortable to be able to call into the show right now because of Cujo talking to her and convincing her to call into the show. Well, let me ask you this. I'm asking, what is she from? Is she, is she a member of a temple prior to any connection here? Do you know that? If I'm not mistaken, I believe so. But right. you know, there's right. so many there's so many dirty moors out here that, you know, she found a different alternative. But again, you know, talking BS about Kujo but never address those dirty moors that you've been dealing with that you left their stuff. Why don't you talk about them? They're they're the guys <laughs> whose stuff you're a part of that you left. You're not talking about them? You're gonna talk about me who's who's doing something out here? All right, real. all right. But the only reason I, I said that, and I really don't want to make any implications, that's why, you know, it's just it's dangerous. Um, you know, you you have been doing the work, and um, we know that we uh, enhance each other and suggested about maybe a month ago or two, maybe under two, um, that if people who were, you know, frantically going through all of this, this this craziness of trying to, you know, be members or whatever at temples. And we said, look, we suge- we've always suggested it anyway, but we actually put it up on the site to become honorary member through the MST of Canaan, and, uh, which is what Kujo is uh, Grand Sheik of. And, you know, remembering, too, that the first temple that the prophet ever did was the um, uh, old Canaanite temple. But... With that, and then after that, it's like, okay, so now there's a, these attacks on you who are receiving an opening for people to become honorary members. So I'm trying to think, is this a deeper, you know, plot, plan, infiltration? I mean, I would never have thought that, but now that she did this, you know, I got to think that. I got to at least ask the question. That's why I asked. <laughs> It's the same thing. It's the same thing. Like like people, you know, all of a sudden just bringing up RV Bay, just because. Mm. Yeah. All of a sudden, they just all of a sudden, this is a hot topic on all these people who they never cared two, three, four years ago. They never cared who RV Bay Publications was. <laughs> all of a sudden, yeah. they care and they got something to say. They got an opinion about something. Right. Yeah. Okay. And again, right. you know, on, on top of on top of. Um, everything else, you know, we got the retrogrades and the moons and stuff going on right now. We have people oh. going crazy out. Oh, because people don't know that people don't know their stuff. Yeah, this people is say a that they know their stuff. They, they, yeah. You know, they they they, 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 they talk yeah. like they know their stuff, but when it comes down to know thyself, I mean, when 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 individuals getting influenced by by a moon. And they're getting influenced where they're uncontrollable. Like mm-hmm. that's to let you know that these people are 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 the ones that are out of order for real. Because if you were in mm-hmm. order, you wouldn't be calling other people stuff talking crazy. <laughs> Especially after you said uh, you're gonna yield the floor, and then ten minutes gone by, you still on on the stuff. Thought you were yielding. Well, 
Well, the thing was, well, I'm not going to mention what it was in the email because it's derogatory, but you are mentioning it. So I don't, then why call in about it? So that clearly shows up? that, yeah, why bring it up if you admit it, which was, you know, correct, that, you know, oh, no, I don't want to because it's derogatory by her. Like, that, 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 that's not cool. So, and, 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 this, and, and this again, and again goes more... back. Yeah, and just yeah. quickly again, it goes back to, to Noble Drew Ali stressing that you judge people by their works. Forget what they say. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. You judge people by what they've done, what they are doing. You don't, you don't judge some. You don't judge a book by its cover. Yeah. You actually yeah. read the book to find out if it's good. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. And again, it's this, it's this, it's this social media, um, internet in your hand, zombie mentality that people have right now. That they don't even know how to engage each other. Anybody, anybody at all, who's ever had a conversation with me, if they weren't dirty, we still have conversations on the phone to this day. Ever since I proclaimed my nationality. Right? If I'm so dirty, people wouldn't be bringing me to Seattle this weekend. Yeah. Well, if I'm such, she, a, she, if she, I'm she, such a pain and all that stuff, people wouldn't be, wouldn't be working with me to write books and stuff like that. Want to want to do music together and all that. If I'm so so dirty and yeah. doing stuff so wrong. You know what I mean? Well, people have to know their role. Yes. Yeah. Well, um. I don't know what her goal was, uh, but she admitted herself that it wasn't good to discuss it and then did it anyway. So taking off topic, taking off our course is what was what was uh, uh, accomplished. So we're going to go ahead and uh, take the next caller. Wow. Yeah. Uh, that was crazy. That's right there. True craziness. Wow. All right. Let's see. We have... Um, mm, mm, mm. We have eight uh no nine seven two eight three nine. You're on the air. Do you have a question or a comment? It's not. It ah It's not. It's not. It's not. Um, this yeah. is brother Al Du Malik Shakur Bay. I'm calling from Northwest of Mexico, the Texas Territory Republic. I would just like to say Islam to Roz, Anani, Kujo. I don't hear Mir tonight. Yeah, he was on. I'm no Islam. 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 Uh, I overheard the discussion, and the first thing that came to my mind was the cover of the one on one, Noble Durali. Is toting the Mobitis. She has seven drops of water coming from her body. She has one foot into water and one foot on the land. If you want to know the condition of a people or race, look at the condition of the woman. Because he's carrying her because she's unconscious. And he's trying to wake her up because she is the key to humanity. And once she is taught and learned the true way, then the five principles will be inserted in, which are love, truth, peace, freedom, and justice. And then we will be able to teach those who are in similar circumstances of understanding. I remember when I was a youth growing up, it was one word used to just Make me grit my teeth. They would call me ignorant. And I thought that was one of the most baddest, critical, damn low word that one could be told until I looked it up in a dictionary. All it means, you don't know. But once you begin to study yourself and study everything that is projected to you, not and pull the screen over, and you can see for what it really is. And then your eyes will be open, your spiritual eyes will be open, and the knowledge of everything what is, and especially those things that 
we cannot see or understand will come to us and we will be able to separate ignorance from falsehood and walk in the true light of understanding because our mobile is, is the key. And once she wake up, this thing is all over with. Islam, I release the flow. Islam, thank you, brother. All right. All right, peace and love. Uh, all right. Um, hmm. Next caller is... Uh, where did it came? Eight three one two two four. You are live on the air. Get your appellation, and if you have a question or comment, make it. Uh, Islam. My name is Amin Islam. L, and I'm calling. Islam. Islam. My my name is Amin L, and I'm calling from the Empire of Maxim, and I'm in the um, territory of California Republic. Um, uh-huh. How you doing, Roz Nerea? Oh, I'm just fine. Um, it, how are you? I'm, I'm, I'm um, highly favored. I want to say Islam <laughs> to um, Cujo, and I want to say Islam to um, Mantis29 to be on the air, and I want to say Islam to Taj Tariq, and, um, and I want to say Islam to Abdul, Abdullah. And, you know, everybody that's working with you, and you don't know me, I don't know you. This is the second time. I've been knowing R- about RV Bay for a while, for about two or three years. For about two years, I've been studying hardcore and his law. And um, mm-hmm. this is the mm-hmm. first time I actually called in. Um, so wow. I'm kind of stage fried a little bit. But <laughs> I've been following. <laughs> I'm, I'm new at this, and I want you to know that there is people watching you. And, I'm, and um, I just want to tell you a little bit about me. I don't want to carry on. I have a lot of questions. I'm probably not going to ask all the questions in this setting, um, but get familiar with my name because I'm going to start participating more. And, um, you know, everything about me is positive. We all people, you know, things happen. I don't know what that was about, but things like that don't discourage me. You know, we got bigger fish to fry. You know, I hope that later on, whatever that's personal, you know, that that, that, that all gets squared away. You know, we, the only thing we could do is try our best. But um, I want to say I've been watching your work. Um, and I appreciate Kujo's work, and I noticed that even on YouTube land, you know, a lot of people downgrade him and criticize him and throw stones and darts at him. I don't, I'm not a big um, YouTube person. I don't, you know, I'm normally using that as a point of reference, and I'm opening up my dictionaries because that's what you guys advise advise to do. So I'm highlighting and taking notes, and I'm trying to get, my attention is, is trying to get on here and learn. I'm trying to get information, you know, and the kind of questions that people ask, you can kind of tell it shouldn't be we, – we study in law and – I just want to make a few comments. We study in law and history. We got to study those together. This is just not uh-huh. about asking about tickets. It's about knowing who we are. This is the empire of a maxim. This, uh-huh. is, this is this is, this is you, you, you have to look at this like this is yours. You have to look at this from an ancient mindset, not, not the mindset that you've been given as a Negro. Cujo, I, I respect that brother. You know, we are, we are different. You know, it, however that brother um, responds to things, he, he just, he, he don't play. He's the arm of, he, he's the vanguard in the arm of um, the Morris Science Temple, man. And, and, and I've seen people go overboard, you know. <laughs> and I, and mm-hmm. I just want to say that you know, um, I can't wait to to really get to know to know everyone on this platform better and, and, and to move forward because there is more that have their eyes wide open and, and I consider myself with my eyes wide open. I haven't got nationalized yet. I, I could go on and on. I'm gonna try not to. I'm I'm pretty a long winded person, but this, whatever I don't understand, as you get to know me, you can fill me on or what I do need to understand. And I don't want to do anything prematurely like you guys say. And I just want to say say one thing before you go off the air. And I just want to say this to everybody. See, I'm aware of the fact that that RV Bay Publication is providing a service. There is no such thing of RV Bayism. There's no such thing of clubism. There's no such thing of groupism in this religiousism that people are trying to play. It's a publication that provides you services, books, information, they help you. You can't look, 
for, 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 for R.B. Barry, anyone to save, you have to take some responsibility and practice eyes of law and master and take this information and utilize and save yourself and use that as a venue to uh, always fall back on. Not not blame, not blame them for for uh you, you that's the wrong attitude. You got to clean your mind and your heart and your spirit, man. This listen, we're gonna be all right. We're gonna be all right. <laughs> and I wanna let you know that um you know that Allah, the father of the universe, have has his warriors, he has his soldiers out here. You're gonna start lining up, you're gonna get to know us. You know, I'm one of them. And, and and I support this because I, I I understand, understand, and I understand. I've been listening and taking notes on everything, watching everything everybody got to say, all the conscious communities, all the movements. I see what this is. I see what's going on in the temples. I see the confusion. And you're not going to fool or play games with all of us, just like Cujo say. You know, we see right through it. We know that the, the law of this land is the Constitution with the treaty. You know, we know that. You know, and all it takes is is sitting down with the information. I just want to say one more thing, one more thing. If we if we, we need to act like we really know what this is and act like what's going on and not get entangled with other endeavors and really spend time with this. And I live this. I sleep this. I breathe this. I wake up to this. I look forward to this because I know my life depends on this. And that's all I want to say in Islam and his love and peace out to you, Kujo, and love to all the listeners. And I hope that everybody just gets something good out of this and be positive. I just want to say one more thing. What do I do? Uh, do I click one again or do I um, just let oh, you uh, yes. log when, yeah. when you when when um, I'm going to unmute you and make sure you press one so you, your hand doesn't show up as someone who wants to speak after um, after I meet you. That's all you have to do. Make sure you do that. And I just want to tell you that nationalization doesn't really exist except that it is in the mind of the earth. It's, it, it, it's stuck in your mind, which you already have uh, acknowledged, obviously. So Islam. the deal is, is that, you know, just as the prophet has in his writing, you must clean your, um, uh, uh, <clears throat> and I believe it's like you said, you must clean your, national, your nationality. And then in that same paragraph down, he says, in you must proclaim your national opinion, which is where you would have your, your title, and now you have a free national appellation. So um, that's a public notice that all that we do is guide people to make that proclamation. However, being national or being national mindset is your mind, and that is something that you must have and be able for yourself. So you, you're good, and you must go on the national, national identification card page. Uh, section <clears throat> at the very bottom of that page is the form, application form, and as it, as it pertains to the card. But at section 13 is the process, uh, uh, a guide step by step as it pertains to proclaiming, uh, and that means making public a, a uh, proclamation and where to, you know, where to send that to as a lawful notice only. The rest. Is you being who you say you are. So you good, brother. Thank you for calling. Yes, so on this year, sometime this year, I will be doing that and getting with you guys. Peace, peace, peace and love. Peace and love. Thank you for your call. All right. Peace. Make sure you press one. Let me unmute him. He's sick to show up today. Why won't he unmute? Can't unmute him. Oh, there he is. All right, um, we have, hang on, did I do that one? Kind of second family, uh, 44 minutes, 91064, going to do this one. All right, 910571, you are on the air, state your application, and state your question or comment. Peace and love, family. This is Navi Bay, calling from Northwestern Mexico. Uh, I would just like to make a uh, quick comment. 
and first of all, I'd just like to say peace to uh, you, Mother Rise. Uh, give thanks for everything that you do. It goes like uh, I give like deep thanks to you. And uh, just for Brother Cujo, uh, I met Brother Cujo um, a year ago, the day my son was born in so-called North Carolina. And I just want to say that Cujo is out here saving lives. At the end of the day, whether you agree with what he does or how he does it, he's saving lives. And I just want people to think about that before we make certain statements on certain forums. And just uh, peace yeah. and love and I yield the floor. Oh. Oh. Man. <laughs> right. It's not peace and love. Wow. That, that was great. That was great. I think he hung up and he just meant to probably press one. I don't think he meant to hang up on himself. Uh, but thank you for the call. And um, we have I'm definitely not answered now. Um, I thought there was another one. Oh, here it is. Uh, 773619. You are on the air live. Islam, family, Islam, Islam. This is Brother Roscoe Bay. All right. Can you hear me? Yeah. Yes. Peace and love. We hear you. It's- I just had, uh, you know, I've been waiting to get on the call all weekend. I wanted to ask the family about the situation that took place last week. I don't want to get too deep in it because I know the media can propaganda. But mm-hmm. if it did take place, the president of the United States of America Corporation blatantly violated the Constitution. Yeah. And <laughs> I thought maybe somebody was up, somebody else was going to speak on it. But it it has weighed very, very hard and heavy on my heart because uh, I personally just feel that that act alone, as I said before, was to actually see what we're going to do. I mean, I'm pretty sure there's a lot of family that's dealing with tickets and, you know, trivial things, but the situation there is um, that's a matter of humanity. That's a matter of us stepping up. And really making making it known that we ain't sleep because we know that well, that Congress that is not legitimate. What 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 did he do? But, uh, I just uh, want to know what, what he, he What no what 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 did he do? Uh, what, what incident or what thing did he do that violated? I heard that when when he uh, right before he met with uh, the leader of China. He decided he was going to launch those Tomahawk missiles, and he didn't. He didn't even consult with Congress. They even got on TV and said that he didn't consult with Congress. And of course, you talk about the bombing on Syria. Exactly. He just yes, decided right. he was going to do it. He didn't, didn't. Didn't even go to Congress to get permission or have them vote on it. He just decided to do it, and then they said, "Well, he was supposed to come to Congress first. With no punishment, no violation, they kind of just pushed it under the rug, like, oh, it, it is what it is. We're going to move forward. With yeah, no that's, because, because, that's because all of them are running a fraud. And I know that. But what I'm saying is, yeah. with that being said, now, with that being said, and our responsibility as Moors is to enforce that Constitution, how does it make us look from an international standpoint? Well, we just sat back and we don't make it be known. I don't know how this gonna how's it gonna be. Whether we have to show up at the Capitol and let it be known, we don't, we don't okay do that. But remember the the, the fake the fake Congress made it known that he went to war without going to Congress. The, the fake Congress is letting people know. Exactly. But right. they don't so, so, so it's not they push it no, well, 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 look look at it like this. Look at it like this. Is is that democracy your government? No, it's not my government. It's not your oh, government. All right. It's no. not my government. All right. So so it's not like what 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 are you gonna do? That's not your government. That's no different than Walmart do something bad. You you're not gonna do nothing about that to people who go to Walmart. They don't care. They're gonna still go there. Even after they do corrupt stuff, sell people fake stuff, sell people stuff that they imported for for two cents for for two hundred notes, 
Like, okay, I, I, I get that. This, what I'm saying is, for those like this, I, let's say, let's, let's step, take a step back with the trivial thing. For the more oh, that I understand what you're saying. Yeah. Them, yeah. Yeah. Right. Yeah. If we're putting our energy yeah. in to free ourselves from citations and houses being repossessed or mortgages and all of that, right? That's trivial. You know, when we tackle the big things, such as what they're doing, if we don't address that, those trivial well, things are not going to be. Lord, it's just like, they're not going to be. Like, yeah, but it's just like it's just like saying. Um, taking the, the trivial things into the the international criminal court. They're not hearing those stuff. Okay. Right? So 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 if uh, until um, we we have to deal with the trivial things till we deal with the um, we can't deal with the big stuff and not deal with the trivial things. And I the understand what you're saying, Kujo. The but trivial things have my, to be dealt with before we can deal with what? the big things. But the, the most trivial thing that we have to deal with is getting this information out to our people. Okay, and I understand that's that. That. Did it cross your mind? Did it cross your mind that the information that has already been getting, been put out, and the sisters and brothers that are actually being active, that are trying to free themselves and are, are trying to put these people on notice for the violations that are being committed, probably escalated that incident. So they could test to see if we were for real or are we just playing games? No, they're desperate. You got to look at it different than that. It's not It's not so much testing us to see if we're for real, although, you know, that's something that we are supposed to be standing on, which we haven't. Many have died and many more will. Uh, um, yeah. But it is it is over. In that respect, because like when you like you said, it's so blatant. It's so blatant. However, at the same time, like like who just said, that's not our government. That's like a corporation who has who has mummed 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 the the nationals who think that Negroes colors and blacks, who also think that that corporation is government, who also has that particular corporation has, for that reason, gone, as I had said earlier, all over the world, four corners of the earth, right, installing and causing civil unrest in every other place with bringing in a democracy. That's always, when you listen, that's always what it is, right? Then causing those people to have war between themselves as a result and as far as where Syria is concerned, as we mentioned earlier, here's the real deal. If you really want to know what's up, that's what they did there. And when these people in Syria began, you know, with their civil unrest, one side of the group that uh, uh, did a chemical warfare or something on the other side of the group were their own people now, while... Um, the U.S.A. corporation that goes across saying they're Americans or pretending to be, all right, and we have allowed that to happen for a long time, and the prophet came in 100 years ago with that concern. So now what they did, what the U.S.A. did was went and bombed them because they're bombing them on behalf of the Dem- democracy people that they made promises to for a better life in their land, which ain't got check to do with these corporations, but this is what their modus operandi is and always has been. And then, here it comes, as a result of that, the bear, which is Russia, is saying, hold the bus, wait a minute. So when the war that has been talked about that really already exists here. This is what we need to be prepared for because this hat will be coming to an end. And it is more, and when it does, as the prophet said, the wheels will stop. And when they start rolling again, it's in the hands of the Moors. So what we need to do is continue to try, well, to attempt to get the Moors up to par in terms of understanding national principles, 
uh, like you say, international, we're international wherever we are, really. Um, and that's what's important because, you know, this is where it is. Their actions are desperado actions, and it's bigger, as you have said, it's bigger than what you call trivial. However, if our people cannot get the, as Cujo said, the trivial, they're never going to get the big. They're never going to get the the whole scope of what's going on, and that's how far behind we are. Now, some people may say, well, it's hopeless. No, it is not. No, it is not. Because remember, this is for us and for posterity forever more. Your children's 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 children forever more. And like you said, they're active most right now. And they're, like, looking at this like, oh, shoot. But it's no different than, as Scooter said, they they do what they do. They're just showing you how desperate they are right now. And it's obvious. The problem, the other problem we have is the media generally exposed to that doesn't really, they either don't say it like it is or they hype it up to be more than what it is. It's sensationalism in that respect. Don't think that they're not going to get whipped for what has occurred already. Don't think that it's not coming to a serious head because while they're doing all that, you got the nationals here in the American land uh, coming up as well. You even got modern Europeans in this American land, on American land, occupying American land that are also coming up. So they're kind of caught in the middle. I mean, it's a shame that some people may lose their lives and have lost their lives to this. But that's where it is. And so when the prophet said, you know, and it's not scary, airy stuff, it's just preparation. You know, it's almost like you just need to sit back, stay out of the streets as they fight each other, because that's really what's going to go down. And have enough ration for yourself for a minute until these wills stop, because they will stop. Um, mm-hmm. It's love. All right. Let me see if there's any more callers. right? Yes, love. Oh, really well. Um. All right, people, we're here. Um. And I think we have. All right. Let's see, we had any more questions? I'm picking that one. And I'm not sure what that else what is. I do believe that we have no more questions from the callers, and it's 12:27, so it's that time. We will be. Oh, wait a minute, seven twenty. Okay, I got I got to notice that's the brother we just spoke with. So um, we we're good with that, and there's no one else. I will say this. All right, we apologize to our listeners for that meagerish um, activity that went on. We really do. Um, but at the same time, it's an experience to show us to reflect on who we are, what we do, how we're in order and or out of order, um, because that, you know, we really don't need to go into it. I think you experienced it for yourself, and the attacks became beyond the one person that they say they were concerned about, Um you know, like to say that there is no order, so how is it out of order, and all that craziness, and and it's just a shame. Um, But it's done. We blame no one. Um, That's just the way it is. So I hope we learn something from that, because we can learn something from every experience. Um, We will be at New York Live in the Flesh tomorrow. And um, tune in at 7.30 for those who are going to be listening. It's not a call-in broadcast. It's just a listening broadcast. And I 
think that uh, if there's no other um, no other comments from the panel, or if you have any closing comments, please make them while I find the closeout music. Just say peace and love to all mortals. Keep studying. Indeed, indeed. I say the same thing. Peace and love to all Moors. You know, uh, I trust as we keep going and moving forward and growing in life, you know, that um, harmony will, will, you know, be there between us all who it needs to be, if you will. But again, for sure, big, big acknowledgement to everybody listening. I know we got like one, less than a minute left, so I yield the floor. It's not. Islam, peace and love. Have a wonderful rest of your evening.